Um... Uh, hmm. Actually, what if I did? Head off. Sorry, that was a bit loud. <clears throat> I'm just checking stuff. Da 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 <clears throat> I hopefully will play tons tomorrow. Hopefully. Which, by the way, I have to, like, fi I have to finish a uh, stream early today because I have work tomorrow, which I was not anticipating. No point in rushing. Let's take it nice and slow. Who wants a break? <clears throat> I just started. Um, Because I didn't realize my I have an early shift tomorrow, despite I checked my phone, like, 50 times yesterday and I still didn't recognize it. Or maybe they changed. I don't know. Um, Woot a toot. <laughs> we can't do that. There's a time limit to solving the mystery labyrinth. Diablo stuff went well. Did a bunch of time PvP limit. today. Now Diablo playing some out. game called Fist. Well, Fist. Your soul leaves your body and Fist. You're trapped in what does it mean? First Forever. interaction stay. In the end, your soul will be absorbed into the mystery labyrinth, and you disappear. Trust. I don't know. In other words, you die. Huma, come on. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, I know. Master, which route do you want to take next? Forged in Shadow Torch, apparently. <laughs> Okay. It obviously means fist. Ist. St. T. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, yeah. It's on Game Pass, but almost picked it up during a few sales. That's fair. 
Hi, Lily. So, we're going to solve the mystery of I'll be honest, I almost thought you were Astantia because your name's gold on my screen. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Astantia. I was oh, thinking wait. about that. Maybe it's wrong to think the poison was in the glass itself. How you doing, Lil? Yeah, the peacekeeper said the same thing. Run. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. Oh, right. If that's the case, it narrows down the possibilities for how by a lot. But don't let your guard down. Unriddling a mystery labyrinth is never so simple. Woo. Hi, everyone's. I'm Astania, and I'm wonderful. Oh my god, that's so true. Facts. Good girl, Astantia, best girl. She gets into stream and she's like, why am I already being complimented? <laughs> I would love that. Too boastful. Impossible! <laughs> what is this? Just, what is this? I told you it wasn't easy. <laughs> Stop laughing. Don't worry. Come on, concentrate. Concentrate on what? What am I going to do? When was the glass set on the stage? Before the play, during, during. It's gonna crush us. It wasn't during? Yeah. Did I press the right button? I thought, okay, it's not during. When was the glass set on the stage? All right, I guess not during, so. It's this door. The prop master placed the glasses on the shelf an hour before the performance began. What? This is real bad, Yuma. We got more boulders coming at us. Y'all fighting? Uh, concentrate, concentrate. I don't want to concentrate. Who's winning? Who's gonna win? Door, master. When was the poison placed inside the glass? Uh, drink. It's this door. Maybe. The poison is effective for thirty minutes, but the duel of poisons cup scene occurred forty-five minutes into the play. Okay. So they switched it out. Which means the only way the poison could be used was during the performance. Okay. All right. I feel like that doesn't answer much, but cool. GG. Good job, Daft. I, I think we made it through. For now. Adara was saying how she's really excited to keep playing this. We gotta keep going. I'm sitting there like, I wish I could give it to you, man, but I'm playing so it. So the poison trick was actually set up during the performance. The poison is effective for 30 minutes, but the duel of poison's cup scene occurred 45 minutes into the play. Okay, so 15 minutes in, they would have had to the put on the poison, poison on. could be used was during the performance. But that glass was on stage the whole time, wasn't it? True, the set was fixed an hour before the play, and the glasses were already set on the shelf by then. So the culprit slipped okay. the poison in. Okay, hear me out. What they did. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye, y'all! <laughs> I have been defeated. I guess I shall retreat now into solitude. Hey, have a good time in solitude. Haven't been there in ages. <laughs> Uh, how, I, I, I always want to visit Solitude, but you know, I, I'm, I'm always stuck in White Run. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, how could I not? How could I not? It's a great name. Um, okay, nerd. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm the nerd. I'm so nerd. I love you. Yeah, love you too. Yeah, the best. Skyrim is for the Nords. Uh, yeah, the fucking racist. <laughs> Skyrim is for everyone. <laughs> anyway, um, have a good nap, Lily. Take care. I'm really excited to play some more Skyrim again at some point. At some point, we have we have a lot of few a few other games to get through before we get to Skyrim. We might not even get to Skyrim, but we'll we'll get to Skyrim eventually. Um, oh yeah, okay, so my reckoning is that when the lights went off, all they did was go up and like switch the glasses around and then took the glass down. And then in between the scenes, they like put the paint on the inside of the glass, or sorry, the poison on the inside of the glass. And then when the lights went out again, they again like switched it out with the cup again. Something like that. Well, everyone was watching. It's, I mean, it wasn't for a long period of time, but it would work. Yep, there's the lights. Lights out, everybody. You'll have time to play it before Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> Sky
Skyrim is for this, is on, for the sales. Bring out the 676th version. <laughs> yes. Huh? It's them. The culprit is Varna. There is no other explanation. It has to be her. Why me? Stop making such baseless accusations! Both Yoshiko and Kurane blame Waruna? Stop it! I hate to see girls fighting each other. Really? Thought you'd be into that. The only but yeah, Elder Scrolls 6 exists only in our hearts. And in our mods. So that means it has to be Warana. She's the culprit. No, 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 no! Murderer, murderer. No, 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 no! What? <laughs> Character activate! No, 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 no! no. <laughs> Women are terrifying! Yes. I'm not the culprit! Honestly, I don't think she's the culprit. <laughs> Wine glasses, water gun, eyedropper. I'm not the culprit. What is happening? It's you, Yoshiko. Yoshiko was in the audience. Yes. She filled the water gun with poison. All right, keep going. She shot the poison straight into the glass. She could have used night vision to see. What? She knew when the stage would be dark. Why? So it's possible she prepared for that. Um. Not sure. Mm -hmm. I just realized that Elder Scrolls 6 will come out after when One Piece might end, and I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> oh no, don't say that. Don't say that. That would mean, that would mean, wait, cause like by two, cause if we go by what, like 2011, right? That was when it came. Yeah, Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim came out on the 11th of the 11th, 2011, right? Which, which I'm pretty sure back then they probably were only up to like not even Marineford arc. I think they must have been only up to Sabodi, which means that we would have gotten about 600 chapters or something, 600, 700, maybe even 800 chapters of One Piece by the time we got Elder Scroll. That's I'm gonna cry. Don't say, don't. What? No, 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 no. She waited for the lights to go out before pouring the poison. What? Yoshik was in the audience, so sh could she really have poured it in the glass on stage? Hi. They brought from the theater club's underground storage by the prop master and placed upside down. Oh, right, it's placed upside down. Okay. I'm not the culprit. <laughs> Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, you know, maybe, maybe one day. No, the wine glass was upside down on the shelf. Even if she did use a water gun, there's no way she could have done it since the glass was upside down. Oh. <laughs> Women are really tough. Scorn. I'm Wrath have no culprit. fury like a woman scorned. It's you, Karuna! I really don't know what to think. Ooh, 
seasoning death match. Boah, boah, boah. All right, what's next? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, what's... And what do you have is your She's suggestion? The one who poisoned the glass. Sorry, what's my answer? It's not me or Yoshiko. Then it has to have been Kurene. My claim doesn't hold up. How do you think Kurene did it? What's your reasoning? Uh, okay, fine. I'll tell you why Kurene is the culprit. Yeah. Costume staff testimony, production manager's testimony. No Hold the phone. Um, give it a final check in the wings right before the bones. It would have been impossible to hide something under them. It was Kurene's idea to shun spotlight on the wine glass. Went up to Catwalk before playing and stayed there for the duration. Yeah, probably this. Kurene's the culprit. Honestly, Kurene is like the she least just suspicious to me, which I think is interesting. Right. Ow! Mixed the poison into the glass. Using an eyedropper. But they're unused. Kurene used an eyedropper to add the poison. No. No. I said. Okay, maybe I. We're good, we're good. <clears throat> I so yeah, I really don't know who's gonna actually find out to be the murderer for this one. Wasn't the only person on the catwalk. Another member was working the lights. She claims Kurine didn't do anything suspicious during the performance. Because of that testimony, it's impossible Kurine added the poison from the catwalk. <clears throat> Maybe it was someone else entirely. So it's proven that both Yoshiko and Kurine couldn't have added the poison to the glass. Wait, Yoshiko and Kurine? So Warner really is the culprit. No. She's the one who snuck in the poison. <clears throat> I thought you were better than that, Warona. I thought you would compete with your performance fair and square. I always knew something was off about her. No. It's not me. It really isn't me. So I mean, I feel like it's really interesting this is all of this, because obviously I feel like this is just proving that Liar. all the girls are just kind of like yelling and saying Liar. noise at each other. Liar. Liar, 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 liar. Yeah, right. Moody, 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 moody. Good morning. Good morning, Keecha. Hope you're going well. Hope you're looking after yourself. Alright, what's going on now? Reasoning death match. That is so metal. Costume staff, productions, lighting staff. Wait, um, we'll give it a final check in the wings. It would have been impossible to hide something. I think that's probably what I want. It's Kurone's idea to shine. Yeah, okay, this one's it. She had a chance to add the brother. She moved to the shelf in one scene. Her oh god, I'm supposed to jump. And the audience. She added the poison from her pocket. This one. Nice. This is the truth. Stand back, foul beast. I have the truth on my side. <laughs> Let's go. No, Warner wasn't concealing anything on her person. The costumer confirmed it. This basically proves that none of the girls did it, right? So, like, who's left? So it was impossible for Warner to have the poison with her on stage. <laughs> Well, no. Nah. Ginger. 
yo, thank you for the raid, Chrysus. Crisis? Crisis Chorus, much appreciated. Hope you're going well. It's probably like Crisis, but like spelled differently. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Yo, you think about follow the prestige, much much appreciated. Hey, how's it going? It's good, going well. What are you up to? What you been playing? How's how's life? Thank you for follow Sh Charlemagne Payne? Charlemagne that's how you you say Charlemagne, yeah? That's probably right. Raid! We just finished this game, it's amazing. Oh hell yeah! I have to ask. Um, how long did it take? <laughs> Genuinely curious, because I'm like, I'm already, wait, how many hours in are we? Can I pause? I can't pause, okay. <laughs> um, Genuinely curious how long it's to take. Because I looked up something that said like 35 to 40 hours. About 40 hours, okay, okay, okay. All right, so that estimation was about correct. Okay, cool. Because I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, I'm really happy with it. The fact that this is like Romba, but like just different. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it's so cool. Layout is so cute, thank you. I really appreciate it. I like blue and white, so it's pretty. Um, But yeah, I'm glad to hear you've been enjoying the game. I've been really enjoying it. I, I'm, My sister's gonna be playing this all weekend while I, I've been playing this during the week, so. Have you enjoyed the game as much as we did? Hell yeah, I am. I really love, I was saying, I was just saying earlier, like, I really love how this game, like, does a really good job of basically knowing what you're probably going to assume um, and then like redirecting your attention to be like, oh, maybe it's this person or maybe it's that person. Like it's a really self-aware game. And the fact that, again, that it's like, it's like, I haven't played Danganronpa, I've only watched it, but like, this is like, you know, if you want to play something like Danganronpa, but it's still its own kind of storyline, I definitely like this. They do, it's amazing. Happy to see you're also enjoying it, yeah. Because I was saying before, like literally um, this mission, like, I went into it thinking initially, like, oh, probably we're going to find out Karen did it. You know, she she poisoned herself after the guilt of, like, killing Aiko or something. Which is still up for grabs, I would argue. <laughs> I don't know as of yet. Um, but she's, you know, they literally bring that up straight away at the start. Almost like, we know what you're thinking. And we're like, fuck. <laughs> know what I'm thinking. So, Wait, so it's been a lot of fun. It's good to hear other people are playing this. Does that mean she didn't add the poison to the glass? Um, because, I don't know, like, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it since it's come out, like, when in my brain, like, me waiting for this game was, like, a huge thing, you know, I'm, like, sitting on my seat waiting for it to come out for the last couple of months, so, um, I, I don't know how popular, like, a game like this has been with, with, with people at all, but maybe that's just because I know a lot of people who are more prone to just play Nintendo games and that's it, so... Of course you get rated the moment I walk away, damn it, Wings! <laughs> Maybe that just means I have better luck without you around. No, I'm kidding. It's okay, Daft. You're doing great. Me waiting for six months, uh, six plus months for the day. I know, right? It's been so good. My sister and I, we've been watching Game Grumps um, play Rompa, And it's like all the way up until like the release date. And I'm like sitting there like rocking back and forth. Like I need this more. Patience, game strong. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you for doing the shout out, Daft. <laughs> After I just sashed you, I'm so sorry. I should have remembered how to do to do the shout out. I'm so bad. Mm. Yeah, it's been really fun with the game so far. Oh shit! Just dialogue. No. Wait, minus, minus. Why is my minus not working? Why are my buttons not working? All right, I'm sure they said nothing important. <coughs> Thank you for the follow, Sylvambrion. Mm -hmm. Sylvambrion. Oh, it's like Sylveon and Umbreon. Okay, I didn't pick up on that at all. <laughs> nice. Umbreon's the best. I finally what got a shiny. I... I have finally got a shiny Umbreon in in um. Fuck. It. What is it? Scarlet and Violet, and I'm really happy. It's precious. And thank you for the follow, Crisis Chorus. Much appreciated. Yes, yes, lucky. It's been really good. <clears throat> I've been really lucky with my shiny hunting recently. So, happy, happy. Yeah. We've still got a lot to go, but the fact that shiny hunting is like easier and Pokemon Scarlet, like the fact I can just sit down, play it for like 
like a good couple of hours and at least get a one or two shinies is a lot better than spending hours of my life and not getting it. <laughs> my first shiny was a Zigzagoon, Hey, Honestly, Zigzagoon is such a cool shiny. It's like pink and like blue, it's so pretty. I need Zigzagoon back. I'm so excited for the DLC because like, it's one of those things where it's like, yes, more Pokemon, more shinies that I could possibly get. I found one random Oi Cologne when I, when I went AFK and I think that was it. Um, full odds, full odds, I got, I think, two or three shinies. Yeah, I got three shinies that were full odds. Or the Orchid, that's the name of the thing. Uh, the Glamora, Glamora, uh, Poltygeist, which was so hype, and Sneasel. Sneasel was my first one and I was devastated because I hate Sneasel. <laughs> I was like Gen 3 finds though. Oh, right, right, right. First was Caterpie ages back and then a Lotap. That's been very good. My shiny Zigzagoon was brown and slightly lighter for it. For it. Oh, oh, okay. That's a Zigzagoon. I was thinking of, wait, who am I thinking of? What is the name of it? The one that looks like, okay, it's Lanoon. Wait, now I'm questioning everything. What's a Zigzagoon look like? Thank you for the follow and Nano Hero, much appreciated. I need to Google this. There's another type of Zigzagoon, isn't there? Hold the phone. <laughs> Zigzagoon. Oh shit. Wait, what's the one I'm thinking of? Oh fuck. I'm thinking of this little guy. It's the sword and shield one or something. I don't fucking know. It's black and white though. What is it? That's a Zigzagoon. Oh, uh, maybe it's like a... Uh, Galarian form. Oh yeah, so Galarian form Zigzagoon is what I'm thinking, sorry. The Galarian form in Sword and Shield is, has like, instead of being black and white, it's like cyan and like bright pink. How many hours do we have in this game? I was gonna check earlier. Yeah, we're up to 13 hours. But obviously I have to like sit and watch all the cutscenes and stuff like that too. Oh wait, no, we're not 13 hours. What are, I don't know. Let's have a look. Bubba. Oh yeah, it doesn't tell me. Shit. <laughs> That's okay. Have a man. Okay. It's been a while though. I'm gonna enjoy the game. Use my disguise to get new information out of the three of them. Is it the Galarian Zigzagoon? So it's nice. No use. I already did that it's during so the investigation. cute. Oh, you did, huh? God, this game's loud. Disguise ability is incredible. Hardly had it. It's like I was a completely different person. I hardly had any shinies. My only one I'm really happy with are the shiny and spiky-eared Pikachus. Lol. Back to the case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, wait, one more. My second shiny was on Diamond and Pearl that no one liked. It was the Cricket Pokemon that was yellow instead of red. Diamond and Pearl, a Cricket Pokemon. Are you talking about like, Cricketune? Are you talking about Cricketune? I actually really like Cricketune, not gonna lie. I love Cricketune though. <laughs> Cricketune's shiny is really cute because it's like a lighter orange, I think. And it's 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 nice, it's it's sweet. It's not like a shiny for um, fucking what's its names is. <laughs> where's my, where's, is it this one? There you go, sprinkle positivity. There you go. Love that cry. <laughs> no, um, no, isn't it like, <laughs> Sorry. It does like the whole like, <laughs> like it's like sounds like a little horn. It's adorable. Oh yeah, Dele Lele. <laughs> Aced it. Aced it, as you can tell. <laughs> Chat is cute. Chat is cute. As you can tell, that's the shiny sound from Arceus. Froth! I really need a shiny. Those, those shinies Makeup as well. Is one thing, but my voice and stature match too. I use a voice changer to synthesize a new voice. If I've heard it even yeah, once, I like all I of my shinies. Set it up. I've been playing Sword and Shield. Wait, sorry, shit. I got Scarlet and I got Violet. I got Pokemon Violet. And I've already got like, I think I've got about 80 shinies by now. And that's just like casually playing the game compared to like Sword and Shield. When I did shiny hunting, I remember spending 
like a whole weekend like so long i spent hours and hours just trying to get like a vulpix as well as a shiny god what else did i get i remember really trying to find a particular shiny but i was like devastated because it takes so much fucking effort like it got to the point where any time i heard like the starting up battle noise i was like on edge <laughs> and i'm like this fucking sucks and now you have skull and violet where you can just walk along and be like oh whoa it's great I use tape yeah. to make your body appear thin. I love shiny honey. <laughs> add padding for the opposite effect. Wait, what? Height can be adjusted by messing with your joints. Up to a certain point. Oh, God. But there are limits, given how it strains the body. Literally stretch your body, you know. The more you know. explain it, the more it sounds like you could commit a lot of crimes pretty easily. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> I must resist my urges every single day. <laughs> It's a daily battle to tame the monster inside me. <laughs> I hate Tatsuhiko so much. Every day is a battle. He's just a fucking edgy teen, I swear to God. He <laughs> Same. He's so bad. Every day, I've got to battle the monster inside me. No, that's called basic consent, bitch. I swear to God. I'm gonna... <clears throat> yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'd, I'd forgotten. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just... <sighs> okay. I resist my urges every day. Okay, but mood. Ever worked retail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the urge to just slap someone. Hell yeah. I work at a cafe, which is honestly pretty chill. Like, it's it's not that bad, but, you know, it's there's always, like, that part. I, I'm, I have to block my urge to cry anytime I ever make any coffee incorrect. That's my, that's my problem. Um, Yasuhiko, rather than want to yell at people. Cool. It's so, so goddamn edgy. I fucking hate it. Anyway, um, he's, yeah, don't worry, we'll arrest him later. I'm, I'm just waiting for more characters to die, to be honest. <laughs> All of the time, I'm just like, all right, which of the, surely one of the master detectives either have to, one has to die and one has to betray us, okay, surely. Unless none of them betray us, and then in that case, I'll be shocked. But it just feels like that's ha the way it should go. Huh? A dead end? Another one. I had a feeling. <laughs> I missed that. Sorry. Um, thank you for the follow. Uh, no, no, no. Is it like no, no, but no, no, Noire, Noira, Callan. Much appreciated. That was shocking. Can't be a real edgy thirteen-year-old hasn't dropped casual slurs yet. I don't know. Back in high school, I was on a plane to Cali to visit friends and family. I was playing Pokemon Black and came across a shiny Darumaka. It was pink instead of red and evolved form from a cool fiery purple. I critted the thing and it had one health after the weathering buffet. I had one shot. I was about to use a great ball. Suddenly I was like, what? What? Are you a coward? Use a regular one. It's down to HP anyway. It got out and immediately died to storm. <laughs> Oh, Norhouse! Damn. That's only because of censorship, bet it was all off cam. I probably, but I've also said the word skank, so I hate that word personally. I'd much prefer cunt. But I'm Australian, so. No, 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 no. I know I'm just saying the same word. Everyone's like, no, no, no. I mean, no. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 Noah? No, no. <laughs> I'm losing brain cells. Rip Dara Maka. Hi, Ara. Noir is phonetically correct. Noir, Noir, Noir. Okay, so this is like. Without the E. <laughs> it's still the same word, is what I'm hearing. Noir, noir, noir. Okay, 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 okay. I am. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> okay. Kiwi here, hello. Hi, Kiwi. 
Hope you do. Oh wait, that's. I was thinking that in terms of name. Nice, New Zealanders. You, let's go. We're gonna take over the world one day. Ara, what the fuck? <laughs> Kidding. Wait, one second. I'm going down the list. Those are two very different words on the scale, there, Wings. Well, I mean, I once found a shiny Victrabel and Volbeat in an hour or so. Only shinies I ever managed to catch. Anyway, thank you for the tier one subscription for four. T two months. Much appreciated, Ara. Finding wings as a streamer is also much like finding a shiny Pokemon. Aww. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't mind me, my back's just giving out slowly. I'm gonna just sit up a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, Ara. It's hilarious to people trying to spell it. <laughs> I'm so bad. Noir. 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 I'm gonna say noir, like the LA noir, and we're gonna go with that. Ah, shit! Lots of yelling and balls getting yeeted at her. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't! No! 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 Daft! No! Dull! No! Holy fuck. Okay. Just about this go on with the storyline. So I try to just ignore it. Okay. Damn, it didn't work. Gonna lurk, but it's been a pleasure to meet you. I hope you enjoy the game and have a great one. Good morning, night. More, more night, everyone. Nice. I like that. All right. Have a good lurk. Take care of yourself. And yeah, I do hope to enjoy the game. Well, I will continue to enjoy the game. So, take care. Have good walk. Good luck. Good work. Good. Um, in perk. Yeah, <laughs> trying to think of words that aren't jerk or twerk. <laughs> Ugh, rule of threes is gonna destroy me one day. <laughs> anyway, see you around. <laughs> All right, yeah, just roll on with the stream. Seem like a question is gonna appear. Looks like it's well, I'm not sure about the yelling, but yeah, lots of screw balls thrown. I guess we can't reach the truth screw by balls? How was the poison mixed into the glass? You mostly play Pokemon so Go. This whole what? Route was a waste? Yes. Well, we did eliminate one of the possibilities. Sometimes the journey is just as important as the destination. The journey. I like the sound of that. I'll use that for lyrics in my next song. Anyway, let's use my convenient magic spell to return to where you Sorry. select roots. Excuse me, Ara? I got a little device that does the throwing for me. Uh. What the fuck, Ara? How is your day, chat and wings? What, Ara? Um, I was good until a moment ago. Ara, Ara, no. Time to start over. Which route do you want to pick? Well, we are only got one left. <laughs> the center one, which I had a feeling was the most oh. important, but. E kuz oh. All right. <clears throat> um, that was my day, so, guys. Our goal here it is was, to it was pretty chill. Question. How was the poison brought to the theater? I did a lot of walking this evening. It's a lot of work. Where My poor did the poison used in the murder come from? I probably ended up walking for like, probably like, <laughs> I probably did like two hours of like walking in the end without meaning to, obviously. It's a good walk. The chemistry lab in the school. It's a highly toxic experimental chemical. Waking, walking. Why not just Damn. take it from the chem lab and keep it hidden in your clothes or something? I should do an hour's walk each day, huge, so, so it's difficult eh, to carry it around in secret. Did you read what I typed? Reading what I typed explains what I meant. Yes, I know. Well, well maybe. The one I just uh, no, 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 no. I don't understand. It only sounds inappropriate, Ara. I don't understand. <laughs> Then they must have swapped the containers and brought it to the theater. That's gotta be it. I wasn't paying attention. What? <laughs> Shit, pay attention, Hannah. Put your arms on. Damn, I'm lost. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. 
Um, how was your day, Aldo? <laughs> how's it, how's it, how's it crack a lack Ooh! Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. Sure. Okay. Come on, what was used to transport the poison? Fucking hell. Um. Paintbrush. I drop a different container. Uh, paintbrush. There was a wet paintbrush in the chemistry lab. The culprit used it to carry out the poisoning. Right. Patch has a has a saying to do it automatically. You do have to press the buttons on it to actually do stuff. But if ever it's when it's on the the latter one. Okay. They took the poison out of the lab by applying it with the brush. Damn it, Ara. Okay. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Don't worry. What was the poison brushed onto? The glass? The missing glass could be brought to the theater hall without drawing suspicion. The culprit poisoned the glass and brought it to the theater hall. You can do it, master. What happened to the other glass? It got left inside Yoshika's locker. Switch with the used glass, hand it to a prop master, hand it to Karen. So, uh... This way. The culprit replaced the poisoned glass with the prop glass. Was that right? Yeah. Love you. Love you, Aro. I hope I hope I hope life's going well for you. Having a good time relaxing. Well working, relaxing. Food. Gundaming. Your little chunk boy that's getting built. You know how it is. This week has been a mess, yeah. It's a bit like that. It's been really weird with the end of the financial year. I think a lot of people are busy, so it's like ugh. Because you have people make changes in businesses and you sit there rocking backwards and forward like, why are things happening? Tomorrow I got a fantasy event with the GF. <gasps> oh, yo! What sort of fantasy event? Are you like getting dressed up? Are you doing cosplay of sorts? It sounds like a lot of fun. We're not done yet. It's just One thing though, started. it'll be 34 degrees Celsius. That's a fine day. I don't know what you're talking about. Poison was brought in. That sounds lovely. The culprit used a paintbrush from the chemistry lab and directly applied the chemical onto the backup glass. Sounds fun. I'd love to do a fantasy event yeah, one day. It's the same kind of glass. I've been watching on on YouTube. There's shorts by this person called Rain Emery, I think. I don't know, but they do really pretty dress ups. And it's so cool because you get to see them like walk around and like at like at big events and stuff like that. I mean, Australia probably has them, but I wouldn't know where to look and I don't have the money to cosplay, but one day. This is the prop on stage. It could be brought into the it. Hell yeah. suspicion. It's some cosplay event in an amusement park thingy. We'll be going there for the first time, so some light cosplay. Yeah, I love that. Hi, Keisha. How's it going? I miss the nice days. It's so cold. I know. I know. Today wasn't too bad, but I really... Oh, I... Yeah. I need I need the warmth back, but that's okay. We're literally... As soon as we get through July and August, things will be going up. Slowly. But it will go up. We'll be fine. How's this game? I want to get this game. Yes. Get it. Doing good. How about you? Trying to get... A feel better? I'm sick. Yeah. I was going to... I was going to guess that, but I was like... Wait, was that recently? Because <laughs> I'm always trying to, because you know, every day on Twitter is like a mind blurb. So I'm like, did I, I was like, was that today? Or was that a few days ago? Or was that last week? But yeah, I didn't use my Switch. I have a cold. My dad got me sick. Oh no. Thanks for the hugs, Ara. Have a good weekend. Have an amazing weekend. It sounds like so much fun. Um, But yeah, no, I, I highly recommend this game. Um, obviously I'm only like, insert hours here, I'm I'm only like a week into this game, but I'm really enjoying it. If you've played or watched any of Danganronpa, I think, you know, I think you'd find it really interesting because it's obviously, you know, like you're still going through, uh, you know, like investigating a murder and then figuring out like, out, like what your solution keys are, aka your truth bullets. 
and trying to like find the right sentence to contradict and have these like interactive adventures that are all about like solving a murder and stuff. AI Sonium files and the nonary games. I do like Danganronpa, serious. Okay, I don't know what those other two are, but this is this is obviously made by the same people as Danganronpa, so it's very like similar theme, similar feel, similar like you know kind of like feelings around the idea of like the game possibly having like a deeper darker mystery behind everything too so but the chemical it's cool. is only lethal for 30 minutes right? nonary games are fucking amazing Even if i'll have to google it give me a second it takes oh, i'm gonna write it down minutes before the duel of poison cup scene that's way too late not necessarily right so how about that yuma hang on there is one no, person who no. could have brought the poison in before it expired. Doesn't this definitely draw towards the idea of Yoshiko doing it? That's the thing that confuses me. Gunnery and I Somnium. Yeah, isn't it? This is a... I Somnium file. And, uh, you're supposed to pick the right one here, yeah? Ah, oh, fuck me. Can you do it, Yuma? But isn't Yoshiko yeah, too obvious? Count on me. I mean, it's done this before, though. Who could have brought the poison to the stage? I was in the audience the whole time! Were you? Wow, that's loud. Zoo and Escape came out of out first, but it's like Dungeon Rumper. Okay. It was you, and I Sony and Games, same people did Zero Escape. What? It's a detective game. Me? Okay, okay. I'll write down. The only way to use a poison with a 30 minute expiration, 45 minutes into a play, is to bring it during the performance. But Warna was acting on stage the whole time, and Kurane was managing the lights on the catwalk. I would love this game if it came to PC. But I think Yoshiko, we're gonna wait for this game to come out on other consoles. Ah, so the, see, that's the thing. I don't think it is coming out on different consoles because I've, I've, I googled it before, and it says like the developers were like basically just like, nope, we're only making it for Switch, and that's it. Um, but I mean, yeah, if you want to wait until like the game's cheaper. Probably a good idea. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's a bit disappointing considering you think something like Dangan Rumpa like is obviously on multiple consoles. I'm pretty sure, or at least is on PC. And I think that's the thing that confuses me is that they didn't even make this game for PC. <laughs> but I can also see them probably getting a little bit of extra bank for making it a um, Switch exclusive. So, I mean, so far I've definitely found it like all worth it and stuff like that for playing it. But I mean, yeah. Like, I definitely feel like recently, you know, I've been trying to, like, reorganize. Like, there's tons of video games I really want to buy at the moment, like, like coming out within the next, like, six months. But in reality, I really need to rein it all in and basically be like, okay, I need, I don't need to buy this much. You know, like, for all I know, Starfield, like, Starfield could still easily be two whole months worth of playing. <laughs> I don't know how long Starfield's gonna take. Um, but... Things to be mindful of. Rip money. Yep, it's all gone. All, all gone. <laughs> I seen it happen. Danganronpa and Vita finally came to other consoles years later. Okay, no, it's still Starfield, Space Cowboy. Well, Get a dog. Clearly. No, I can't afford that. In fact, you arrived late to the theater hall after the performance had already begun. You were about really gonna be so here, which is 30 minutes before the duel of poisoned cups. Just enough time for the poison to Probs be Probs get Starfield a month after it comes out. I miss the so Vita. Good handheld you. console. That's fair. You brought the poison. Time for the Steam. Steam? Is it Steam Deck? Yeah. Not Stream Deck. It's Steam Deck. Um, nah, I think I'll probably get... I think I'll end up getting Starfield basically immediately. I... Because I... Unless I waited... <sighs> like, I don't think I could wait, like, six months to a year for it to eventually be on special. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> um, but I will wait at least to see, like, obviously the day it comes out, the, um, 
uh, you know, like the, the reviews around it and stuff like that when it comes to like the week before it comes out because obviously it's supposed to be a pretty big game and I'm, I don't know, like there's still that part of me that's like, you're promising a lot, Starfield, you know? Amazing console. Certainly fucked it over in Western markets. <laughs> Sounds about right. But yeah. No, it's not me. You guys are a lot of. Hey, she ran away. Yuma, after her. I was gonna go wait Final Fantasy 16 on PC, but I can't wait for it. It's pretty fun on the PS5. Five. I can't. I don't have a PS5, hey, take it away that easy. and I'm still sad about it. My master loves hunting down prey on the run. Wait, what? I'm not a dog. <laughs> but I've been so I've been so excited for Final Fantasy 16 to come out, and then it found out it was PS5 only, and I was like, no. Well, PS5 for now. So hopefully, it comes out in PC by the end of the year. Which way'd she go? We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I have to wait for obviously stuff like that. I'm I'm always waiting for like new games to come out and like what you know like I've got a whole list here, right? So before by my estimates, I was like estimating that like I'd be probably buying like a ton of extra games before the end of the year. But then I've kind of realized that like I really want to buy Lords of the Fallen when it comes out, but I also feel like I could wait before buying that. Um, but you know, like Hades 2 still doesn't have a release date. Ark 2 doesn't have a release date. I'm still waiting for Moonstone Island. So I found out with Cyberpunk um, that the specs are going to go up way too much with the with Cyberpunk. So I need to actually wait. I'm um, not that I was going to play that on stream anyway, but at least I need to wait until I upgrade my graphics card before I can play the Cyberpunk DLC, which is tragic. Um, yeah, so. Always, I'm always looking through different things. It's coming to PC in six months. Okay. Hopefully the price will be good. <laughs> fingers crossed. I don't know why I did this when I said fingers crossed. F fing this thing. I still need to play Fallout New Vegas. I have had a love-hate relationship with it since it came out. God, why am I... Why is my reading re re being ruined? Wouldn't run on my PC. Play it years later and eventually my saves would corrupt or the game would crash. Not good. People keep saying that. Yoshi P kept denying the PC port was going to be a thing. I'm going to get the fan made patch for the new Vegas, but that means I have to mod it and modding anything before Skyrim is a chore. Yeah. We're kind of playing it also for Fallout New Vegas. I need to go back to it. Yeah, before Starfield comes out, I want to play... I have two games in my wish list that I really want to play, which are... Um, the Outer Worlds and the Outer Wilds. <laughs> They're always so similar in name, but I want to, I, because I think that's by the same people as Fallout New Vegas. I think that's right. I could be wrong, but I want to play that one. If I get around to it. I keep going back to Diablo 4. I'm still trying to get through Diablo 4. <laughs> My friends and I on the weekend, we've either been busy or someone's been sick for like, um, for like the last like couple of weeks since it came out. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get through a good chunk of it. Outer Worlds is by Obsidian. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Just trying to figure it out. Also made Fallen, okay, cool, cool, cool. I was right there. What was the poison put in to be transported? A pouch, a pocket of a school uniform. Fuck. A pouch or a pocket? Do I have any evidence? I don't think I have any evidence. I don't have any evidence for this. Well, the pocket of a school uniform would be f would be stupid, right? Because that means the poison could get on you, at least on the outside. That wouldn't be a good idea, unless it's only poisonous if, it, if it's ingested. But it could still be absorbed by the skin, so surely a patch would make more sense. I have no fucking idea. 
As a production assistant, Yushko always had a bag with her. Oh. In it, she carried the glass with poison brushed on. Oh. Wow, you're the glass would be small okay. enough to fit in the bag. Yes, that was right. Even if... I like how I was thinking about the health circumstances, not anything else. I finally been doing endgame stuff. Your character looks cute. You saw it. You yeah. could say it's He's just hanging a out. He's doing his best. He was dressed like a girl earlier, which is gorgeous. See. So she prepared for the murder while in her role as a production assistant. Obsidian got screwed over by Bethesda. Bethesda offered more money if the reviews were above a certain margin. However, critic reviews shit pay attention hat um oh, where did i oh scored it a little lower than anticipated due to bugs what bugs that were there because of bethesda didn't get a higher cut i know well that's yeah it's really fucked. What? Oh, in here. Okay. All right, Yushko. But you know what? It doesn't feel right chasing after a girl like this. Damn it, Desahiko. Seriously. Hey, time to tough it up. You did it, didn't you? Not me. I, I didn't do it. But she's a great actor. You think crying will save you? Well, you're right. You're so cute. Hey, come Shut here. Shut the fuck up, Desuhiko. Desuhiko? It's all good. With my kind of charisma, I can make anyone a fan. She might even lead us all the way to our goal. Shut up. Why do you always get all the attention, Yoshiko? You're such an ass-kissing bimbo. Were you jealous when Karen took your spot? Is that why you killed her? I feel like the pink chink is like Junko, isn't she? Which pink chick? Which one are we talking about? Oh. Oh, Shinigami? Hypocrite! Um. Ugh. Think of her as a psychotic. She. Well, she's a death god, okay? So she's like. I mean, she could be the ultimate bad guy in the end, but I don't anticipate it. Exactly. She's. I mean, maybe. Um, too soon to say. <laughs> too soon to say. But she is very much psychotic death god. She like revels in mysteries and giving people their proper punishments. Take that as you will. Um, and that's her whole shindu. So, what? looks like hey, her. I wouldn't say. Maybe. Uh, they really do make me think of like, I don't know, something. It's mainly a problem with creation engine, if anything, and Bethesda refuses to stop duct taping engine creation engine to work properly. Well, that was their issue with Starfield, right? They completely changed engines, I'm pretty sure. Same thing with why Elder Scrolls 6 is taking a while. I'll be direct. Um, it's one of the reasons why... Wait, did they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, they've actually changed over system. So after Fallout 76, they ended up being like, oh shit, we really need to change our, our system, basically. So I think if you Google it, I'm pretty sure they talk about how they're using, like, really, like, like, photo uh, authentic, like, images of, like, people and stuff like that to make their character models and stuff like that. If so, then about time. Creation Engine 2, probably. <laughs> I thought they were making it on engine, Unreal Engine, but I, I could be wrong. <clears throat> but they have been changing it, is my point, which I think is one of the reasons why, obviously, Elder Scrolls 6 has probably taken a while, because before they might have been like, oh yeah, maybe this will be fine. And then, uh, and then obviously, Fallout 76 didn't do very well and got a lot of criticisms, and they were like, oh shit, we really need to probably change it a bit more. And then all of Starfield, I'm pretty sure, is with the new system as well. Um, but also that's one of the reasons, as far as I'm aware, one of the reasons Starfield was kicked back another like six or so or six or more months was because 
Um, I think Microsoft has been really cracking down on them being like, this game needs to be fucking perfect, okay? It needs to not have that many bugs on release. No, I just looked it up. Oh, okay. Something like that. Warren was acting during the play, of course. It would have been difficult for her to have purposely poisoned Karen. Yoshiko always watches plays beginning to end, but for the business performance, she arrived late to the theatre hall. She sat right at the edge of the front row and didn't leave before the blackout. Oh, okay. With you. All right, what's happening? The Only you could have brought the poison. Ah. Only Yoshko. No, no, no. I'm not the culprit. Do you guys have something more to go take the poison glass? And switched out the glass on the shelf. In the dark. The oh, team. she left before the blackout. <clears throat> when Yoshiko returned to the theater hall, she um, worst part of right Fallout 76 was marketing. Row, Holy shit, marketing show. dropped the ball hard. Well, it's not even just that, but it was like, you know, they kept this really good idea, and it was good, and then it was basically like, and there's nothing else in the world, and it's like, yes. And then they fixed it, but then, you know, they don't really advertise very well how well they fixed it or not. I don't know. I never went back and played it. I bought it because my friend was super keen and being like, oh, we'll play tons of it. Because we did it because she let like, she just, I think she also gave me a code for doing some of like the beta with her and stuff like that. Um, and then we never played it. It's trash. Um, I hate it so much with a boiling passion. Um, because <clears throat> I hate wasting money. I remember something about a Brotherhood of Steel helmet being shipped and people reported l reporting people inhaling chemicals from inside the helmet. That's concerning. That's really bad. She would have had to move from the audience onto the stage to reach the shelf and swap glasses. But that's impossible. The lights were only out for five seconds. You can do Even it. if she ran over, someone would have heard her footsteps. So Yoshiko couldn't have been the one who swapped the glasses during the performance. You know who said that line though? Kurumi. It's Kurumi. <laughs> I guess I was right then. It was Kurumi. Oh, she disappeared. So Yoshiko wasn't the culprit? She did bring the poison from the chem lab into the theater though, right? The method was already explained. But still, she's not the culprit? If she couldn't have swapped the glasses on the shelf, she can't be the one who committed the crime. Let's keep going for now. There may be more ahead. I still feel like we could find out this was all collaborated between all of them, but I don't know. This still seems really sus. And I do not understand it. At all. All this is making me scared of women. <gasps> I wish Shinigami would comfort me. No. Kick you. Oh, but I'm committed to master. Oh, damn it! I should give up my memories and sign a pact with the Death God too, then! Quick, Yuma! Punch me in the back of the head as hard as possible. What? Let's not. Calm the fuck down, brother. Um, but yeah, no, they really need to do well. Also, considering, like, I don't know. I think that's the thing that scares me the most with Starfield. I still feel like they're just saying a ton of things. Damn. Are you sure that's the case? What if there's something that makes the wall collapse? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Nothing can be done here. Or so this doesn't that, like after is, Red Field we fall as well, doing horribly. To the theater hall. Seems that way. We should turn back for now. <laughs> With my magic, we'll be there in a snap.
Horny jail could not contain Desuhiku. Motherfucker needs a horny containment center. Wasn't that the third route? I agree. Or more like you need like a s or oh, solitude confinement <laughs> inside of horny jail. What does it mean, Shinigami? It seems that even though we tried to solve every how, we can't figure out who the culprit is. Oh, come on! Then what was the point of our great adventure? I've told you this a dozen times already. Even dead ends are precious clues. Because of them, you figured out that examining the murder method won't lead you to the culprit. I see. Wait. So we're still making progress. <sighs> Great work, Shinigami. I hate him. Anyway, so what's we going have on? to view this case from a different perspective. Okay. A different perspective. What's that? I suppose that's your different perspective. Oh. Uh, no. I really don't know where this is going now. So this is just proven. That wasn't the three girls, so it's Kurumi, right? Surely it's Kurumi then. Was I right it's Kurumi? I mean, I bet it was Kurumi from the beginning, but what jail? Really Horny jail. Walking <laughs> on another side. Do I need to give you a TLDR of what that is? All right, the TLDR. Sorry, the sh sorry the short version to explain. No, you don't want to explain horny jail. Okay, we won't explain it then. It's the internet, basically. Well, if we keep moving, then let's go. It's Kurumi, right? It's gotta be Kurumi. She doesn't have much of an alibi Look, at this point. It's a new route. She's a lice. Why did the incident happen? Okay. So this is referring back to Iker. No fair. Yuma gets to have all the fun. This is not fun. That's my blood. Of this? The question is, why did this happen? I guess we're on the why done it route. Yeah. Wait, did, uh, white done what now? It's about the reason why the case occurred. Meaning, this is the route where we seek the motive. Looks like we need to focus on figuring out the culprit's motive from here. Yeah, I know cases always deal with motive, but wouldn't it have been better to start with this route from the get-go? Well, we only know this route is important because we cleared out the how routes. That's how it goes when it comes to solving mysteries and dungeons. Oh, but, sorry, I... I guess that's how it is. <laughs> Let's keep going for now. Figuring out the mystery. Bee -dee -bee -dee -bee -bee. So hopefully this will lead into how Iko died, because we still don't have answers around that either. Though I get the impression that Karen definitely did it, but there's no guarantees on that either. Before oh god, this figure looks out trippy the as fuck. Motive, what kind of person was Karen anyway? Was she cute? Yes, but more importantly, she was next in line to be star of the theater club. Yeah. She was considered to be the best actress among the club's current members. So the culprit was envious because she was so popular. They killed Karen so they could become the star instead. No, I don't think it's that simple. Yeah. Um... Hey, who are you calling simple? Simp! Six months ago, oh. the leading member of the theater club also died in a separate case. Top actresses dying one after another? Is their club cursed or something? We've talked about this. No. The name of Calm the student down. who died was Aiko. Her death was ruled a suicide by jumping off the school, but Kurumi doubted that was the case. Kurumi, huh? She's all right. Or is she? All right? Anyway, I doubt it's a coincidence for people to die in such quick succession. This case may have been triggered by Aiko's death. I thought that was obvious. So oh, come on, catch up, bro. Death, maybe we can figure out the motive in this case. The truth behind Aiko's death. Hey, look! Is that Aiko? Oh, she's cute too. Shut she's the fuck about up. To get a taste of my full and undivided attention. You I can already tell women will be his downfall. Uh, oh well. 
it's not like you're any better off with yours truly, master. Are you saying that women will be your downfall too? Now I'm curious. Sorry, Shinigami. Was that Tashihiko? He's an idiot. What, what the? Run, run, run. As fast as you can. The stairs are falling down. Keep on running, keep it on flying, keep on going. Even though the ground's <laughs> falling. This is bad. The ground's giving way but you know. Yeah, I can tell. What do you mean? Oh whoa. Heiko. She wasn't actually dead the entire time. Hey, let's hurry and catch her! Of the tragic time. Will you no. shut the fuck up? We're trying to figure out the truth behind her death. We're even in a, a fake master. world. Ah, oh, Shinigami. Okay. Answer the questions. Was Aiko's death six months ago suicide or homicide? It was homicide. The answer. Aiko's death six months ago was actually a result of murder. I thought that was a pretty simple question, but we'll keep going. Was where was I murdered? Rooftop or flower bed? I mean, I guess the flower bed the because there was mud on her shoes. Okay, cool. The location of Iko's murder is the flower bed. Yeah. What weapon was used to kill Iko? Poison from the candle, brick from the flower bed. I guess this brick the from the answer. flower bed. Oh yeah, because it's sitting on down in the photo. Okay. The brick with Iko's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. Is there a natural blood splatter pattern? After the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. Sure. Who murdered Ico? Fuck, I don't know, man. Can we just pause for a second? In in what capacity have we been able to successfully answer this question? Is it presumed that it's Karen at this point? Because I don't- we only have assumptions at this point, surely. I don't like Desuhiko fluttering his hands. I agree. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna just guess it's Karen and go from there. This is the I don't- It's the only I presumed answer at this point. Suicide by jumping. And Cotton clearly lied in her testimony. Wait, why? Wait, when? Wait. Uh, sorry, can I go back and I pause? Cotton killed Iker. Okay. When was this definitive? Did we miss something? What was what was her testimony? Scrapbook. Purine. Photo. I drop paintbrush. We're gonna find out all of them did it, aren't we? This one. Okay, okay. Um, Karen was the first to discover the body. She heard someone thumped something falling and went to check on it, testing, testifying she found Aiko in the flower bed. Aiko was the theater club star, and though she was incredibly popular, she seemed to have concerns about her future. Um. Uh, sure. It's a really simple testifying. I don't know. Uh, this is sure. All right, let's keep following her, Yuma. It's really not quite giving me like the damning keys about it, but we'll keep going. I had a theory about it being all of them, so I it's still a possibility. I, I guess wasn't a suicide from the evidence photos. Right. Her shoes were neatly yeah, placed on the roof. Dirt on them. But there was dirt I picked on up on that. I'm smart. Flower bed. I think Ika was told to meet at the flowers behind the school building and then murdered there. So the shoes were taken to the roof afterward. The murder weapon is likely a brick from the flower bed. I guess it is weird that almost like it looks like it was hit by the corner. Okay, I hadn't quite put that together. It kind of just looked like it was splattered on. I just thought they might have just did it that way. The brick with Ika's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. In the sense that it's like more cornered towards the side and didn't extend. Uh, Around the other blood. If she fell from above and hit her head, the blood stain wouldn't get cut off in that way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's really looking into it. I feel like that's really, I mean, yeah. Okay. I'm sure that after the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. 
Blood patterns can be used to determine what happened during the time of the crime and how violent it was. That's fair. But it was definitely one of the things that I just didn't really look at. You know, like, at a glance. I probably only looked at the picture at a glance. Like, even from here, you know, I might have looked at it and been like, huh, that's facing... Like, I thought the brick might have been facing the wrong way, but I didn't actually put the two together because I was like, oh, yeah, well, maybe... Maybe the blood, you know, she got hit more in the center of the brick and then it kind of I don't I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I just remember looking at that and being like, huh, that's odd. You know, just kind of being like, hmm, okay. And just like moved on and did not think any more of it. So that's on me. The, do you have evidence that Karen did it? No. Do we? If Aiko didn't die from jumping, Karen's testimony makes her highly suspicious. I mean, she said she heard something falling. She said she heard something yeah. fall and went to inspect it. Right. I get it. Hearing a sound that never happened means she's obviously lying. Well, yeah, but... Karen lied. And the reason why she lied... She made it appear like Aiko jumped. If that's the case, then the one who killed Aiko is Karen. Yeah. Okay, so that still seems to be on the money. So... She disappeared! Damn it! I can't even help the girl who needs it most! Help her? She was dead long before you could help her. Anyway, this must be the roof I could supposedly jump from. Uh, hey, why did Cotton kill Aiko? This guy is a horrible detective. I thought an all-girls school would be more sunshine and rainbows than murder. If a brick was used as the I'm murder sure you'd weapon, love to think that. then it could have been an impulsive crime. So Cotton might not have been planning to kill Aiko when she called her there. You mean they were talking and it turned into a crime of passion? That's so cliche. But then, like, why did it take them six months to plan? If they did, if all the girls worked together to, like, kill, um, then why did they wait six months for it? Maybe they were discussing their acting careers. They had a disagreement and. When in doubt, use violence. a watermelon to prove physics. When in doubt, use a watermelon to prove physics. Um, okay. <laughs> sure, yeah, we can do that. Watermelon, we love watermelon. Yeah, watermelon has all the answers. Don't question it. Okay. Well, if this caused the other murder case, then is the motive revenge? Clearly he hasn't been in an yeah, old girl's school. They weren't fighting over Ico's no. spot. They wanted to get back at Cotton. For Neither have either, so... Meaning, the culprit is whoever cares the most about Aiko? I'd say Yoshiko, but Kurumi. Then which of the suspects is it? It's Kurumi! I was right. In fact, where do we even go from here? We got the motive, but there's still no path. Jump off. I knew that this as soon as I saw it. from the other dead ends. I think there's a mystery around here. Jump off. Something must be hidden here. Oh, it's like the three different buildings. Is that the how route we were looking for? Holy shit, that's complicated. We're so high up. When did this happen? Nice. Master, look over there. What's oh, that? look at that. They all it turn into one route. to anything else. Which means that could be the who location. So the true culprit is over there then? Nothing related to where the fuck we are. But how do we reach it? It's not connected to any other route. We teleport. What, are you freezing up? Scared of heights or something? Oh, it's not that. Uh, about those three routes. What are you doing? A pen? You carry that around with you all the time? 
Yeah, can I take pictures of pretty girls? Okay, all right. Different effects. Guess the same sort of thing. Good evening. Wings of Elixir. Nice, nice. I like that. Hi, Mari. Hope you're going well today. Done. See, it's all Isn't one room. It perfect? I was right. I'm just Maybe. As good at drawing I'm right either way at this point. Either they all did it. Face. Or it's Kurumi. I mean, we've definitely aligned the idea that it could have been collaborative, you know? This is the how roots when seen from above, right? If this is a dungeon, right? So maybe there's some secret paths in here. Yeah, I'll just walk along the roof. Secret paths? See, if you look at it this way, doesn't it all seem like the same road? Oh, right. it did look that way. The three how roots are connected into a single route all the way to the who room. Wait, all three are connected? Yes. That's it. I think I've got it. That's the hidden truth. They're behind all the gonna Howard. die. There's only one explanation for how the victim could have been poisoned. What? Seriously? Not bad. You finally made yourself useful. I mean, I saw that. <laughs> I mean, I still kind of wish it was Kurumi, to be honest, but... I mean, she just means she she loses her three other friends. Honestly, I really don't like it, though. Like, again, we're killing three, like... Uh, like, it had to be the school kids that we had to kill three of. Like, uh, like I'm not okay with that. Yay. Shinigami complimented me? I love you, Shinigami! Wasn't I a good boy? I deserve a treat, right? No. If you think you've got this, I'll back you up. Lay it all out. But it does also, again, like, it was always like every single thing they had, they all had a part to play. You know, Kurune could see how the glasses were mixed and show them which one to land on. Someone poisoned the glass and someone moved the glass onto the table. All right, what's the word? Shinigami puzzle. The only way the crime was possible was by having an accomplice. Ah. Calm. No! Okay. Calm. Calm. She's so pretty. Still don't know why she has so many love beams and stuff for being a death god, but I'm down for it. Excellent. Joosh. That's right, accomplices. The truth of this case is that Yoshiko, Warona, and Kurane were all accomplices and committed this crime together. Accomplices? But don't they hate each other's guts? It's the truth. I realized it once you drew this map, Desuhiko. Okay. The three how routes that we explored were all dead ends. Each of them were suspects. But they were all ruled out because of certain details of the case. That makes sense. If we look at them separately, we get dead ends. But by connecting all three roots like this, and looking at it as a single criminal act, it clearly becomes one path forward. They were accomplices that committed a single crime. Congratulations, everybody. You get not one dead girl, not two dead girls, but five dead girls by the end of this quest. This murder would have been impossible ding, ding, to ding, ding. Alone. That's your prize you that for the finding the truth. What if the three of them worked together? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Can make it possible. Okay, all right. Why do we have to kill them? I miss Persona. <laughs> At least Persona didn't make me kill people. What's this? It's a pickaxe. Pay attention. Oh, we're supposed to break the wall? Sounds like fun. It 
It's all thanks to my help, don't you think? No. And don't I you I realized it, but you're the one who's Meta the time game. fun time. Well, that's anyway, Pencho cool. <laughs> we have to make Pencho sure we're on the right track. Poor Kurumi. I feel so bad for Kurumi. Kurumi. I feel so sorry for Kurumi because here she is. It's like, someone's killed my friend Aiko. I want to know who did it. And then we're like, we come in and we just By kill the lads. Separating the house, the three of them divided up the tasks that needed to be done to pull off the murder. Don't you think so, Yuma? Yeah, I think it's the only way. Huh? What? <laughs> Ah, oh, you sure sound confident. How do the three work together to pull off an impossible crime? And now, there's a new problem to solve. I still feel like Kurumi could be a part of it. Secret behind their complicity. Like Kurumi maybe was the one who put it up on the board. We could get six dead girls. Hold the phone, there's still a chance. How exactly they cooperated together and the timeline of the crime. Oh, fuck we me. Get the timeline, huh? Then the first thing to Can we just do the deduction. Wait, sorry, what was the question? Fuck me. Come on, Justice! Really? Yeah, through dead girls. Have you already decided on a go to go to just pick one already? Oh. Okay, um. Fuck me. Uh. Um, sorry, what was the question? We just have to follow the sequence of events, right? Sequence of events. Um. Uh, uh, this one? How was the poison brought to the theater? I have no fucking idea. Um. Let's start with the poison being brought to the theater hall. Their conspiring began with how was the poison brought to the theater hall. It's a route we already explored to the very end. So let's blast through it. Hey, wait. What is he the holding on to? The person who could have brought the oh, poison it's a to the theater hall was Yoshiko, right? Yeah, the poison neutralizes after 30 minutes, so it had to be brought into the theater during the show. Yeah. As the production assistant, only Yoshiko could have done it. Looking back, the reason they chose poison as the murder weapon was to establish an alibi. The poison was only active for 30 minutes, which gave the other girls an alibi. Yoshiko went to the lab for the poison as soon as the performance began. She had the extra glass hidden in her bag, and after she brushed poison onto it, she put it back in her bag and returned to her seat in the front row as if nothing happened. The problem is, what happened next? We're here! You're up, Master! Y yeah Shling! What did Yoshiko do with the poison glass to offer bringing it? I ended it to Warner. Isn't this the how was the poison mixed into the glass root? Yeah. Wow. It really connected. All right. Let's keep this is honestly really right cute. Like, track. well, cute in terms of like how they've like Whoa. how they've represented. Yeah. I like how they've got the whole like three different colors, but now it's showing how they've all you like united together effectively. Hey. You said Yoshiko handed the poison glass over to Waruna, but Waruna was performing on stage, right? How could she receive the glass while on stage? The only time I can think of is when they turned off the lights. Yoshiko sat on the right edge of the front row close to the wings, where the actors enter and exit from scenes. She probably stood up when the lights went out and left the poisoned glass near the right wing. Even if she couldn't get on stage, she could at least do that within five seconds. Then, Warna picked up the glass and hid it under her costume. I still costume don't think that's possible, before but... the performance. So she got around that by receiving the cup during the performance. I still think we're gonna find out Kurumi's involved as well. I see. So they passed the baton during the five seconds the lights were out. 
two of them. I mean, that's five seconds for someone to walk across the, the stage. The I don't know. But what happened after that? Suppose Waruna did get the poison glass. How did she swap it with the real glass while the play was still ongoing? A few minutes after the blackout, there's a scene where Waruna approaches the shelf. It only lasts two or three seconds. But Waruna's hands in the shelf are completely hidden from the audience. At that moment, Waruna could have switched out the original glass with the poisoned one. I... So they used to play it would it be really obvious if you, like, switched your hands out and everything? I thought it was obvious that they all worked together. They all mentioned the murder. So, well, that's the thing, like... I think I called it. I called this early on. But because they kept, like, throwing around accusations at each other, it definitely, like, muddled my opinion of it. Which is why I kept being like, oh, maybe it's this person, or oh, maybe it's that person, like... I really did, it really did keep confusing me because I'm like, oh, well, they're all throwing blame at each other so readily. Unless they're doing it to make it look like none of them did it. You know, like... <laughs> Talk about guts. This is something only thespians could pull off. Um... Shinigami? <laughs> Isn't there a safer way down? Nope. Master, hurry up and break this one down too! Right. How was the poison glass chosen? Kurene guided it. All right, we got this one too. Only a bit more. Let's keep going. W wait, can we take a break? Nope. Um, but yeah, no, they did all mention the murder. This is the final one. It's the how was the poison glass chosen? Meet. From here, it's exactly as we solved it before. Kurune told Karin beforehand to take the glass the spotlight looks first. And then, after confirming the poisoned glass from the catwalk above, the spotlight was pointed directly at it. And that's the method behind the murder weapon. Method? Sounds more like madness if you ask me. <laughs> that solves this mystery. We've almost reached the truth. Seriously? That's terrible. Huh? Why? Because I haven't gotten Shinigami to fall for me yet! That's not gonna happen, even if you stayed here for a hundred years. In fact, I basically hate your guts. You know, beyond the hate, there could be love. You're disgusting. It's kind of like traveling the globe. You and I can do it. That's a stretch. Ugh, I feel sick. Good, good. This is the last wall. Master, are you ready? L right. All of them. Yes, it worked. And behind that door is the Who Room. We finally made it. It's time to end this. Uh. But yeah, I definitely feel like before, like, like, it definitely was like setting it up. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what I might have said yesterday, but I definitely do remember saying yesterday, like, there was a particular line that I definitely think that was suspicious. It was that Warner said, Warner, like, Warner says a very specific line when you're dressed up as Yoshiko. Which made me kind of clue in to think they might have been working together because she says something like, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be far away from here or something, which made it sound like she knew she might have been the one to do the killing and, you know, wanted her to be far away so that she didn't get the blame for it or something. It was a line like that where I was sort of like, why does it make it sound like, you know, like they've actually, um, Uh, why is there a line like that that makes it sound like they're we're actually somewhat sympathetic to each other? To kind of be like, come on, like, go, get out of here, you know, without it being, like, really mean? I don't know, that was just my own personal theory. So I'm just getting rid of all these new sections. Uh. Ah. All right, let's do this. Yeah. 
Uh, they, they got me with this one because I mean, but again, I, I think there was that other part of me that really just doesn't want to kill three schoolgirls. Okay. It looks like all the culprits are here. But I mean, it's still a horrible thing that they did, and I know they did it for the sake of their friend, but it's still really horrible. Why do they look so sad? Because they loved Ike. How boring! You call yourselves the final bosses of the mystery labyrinth? Then start acting like it. Might as well guard the truth till the end at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. There. <sighs> what happened? Are we doing the final fight section or not? Oh no, okay. What is happening? Are they here? Aren't they here? I don't see him. Okay. If I had to choose a music, music that I do not like from this game, it'd be this one. It's still so weird. I can never get over this animation. She just looks so proud of herself. All right, let's do this. God, Shinogami. Let's do this, master. Jump, kick, tackle. Jump, kick, tackle. Iker's death. Destroy the wall with a solution key. You're wrong. Huh? Come on. Yeah. You did it, Master. Yeah. Let's do it, Master. This is still horrible. Teenage girls should not result in murder. Don't come any closer. I I did it all alone. I don't know about the others. Don't come any closer. There's nothing connecting us. The other part of the picture. Job. Wait to toot to toot to. Shut up! Go away! Stop telling lies! Please, leave me alone! Shut up! I'm really just disappointed in all of you, really. You're teenage girls, okay? Shouldn't be worrying about something like this. No, that probably isn't true. Uh-huh. What do you mean by that? If you put together the three photos they each have... What? So they're all in the same picture? That is so fucking obvious, but okay. That's the truth. And the corners of the pictures are just there of them. I like how they all have a different colored eyes center. Like, it's all rainbow. Anyway. No need for mercy. Let's do it. It's 
poor girls. Get away from me! Alright, buddy. Please! Go away! Why do they say that like they're the Powerpuff girls or there something? Is no bond between us! No, go away! Again, the one thing that confuses me the most about all of this though is the fact that like the thing that confuses me everyone is smiling happily. No. Oh. Is where's Kurumi in all this? When I mean I guess they say that Aiko was good friends with her friends in the club, but Ugh. Pants. You're right. This is actually all just the story of the sisterhood of the traveling pants. That's all this ever was. Ah, I'm so glad we figured it out. This is just a guess. But you three weren't actually on bad terms with each other, were you? Just disappointed. In fact, it was all an act to get revenge for Aiko. You all cherished the same picture with her. It was originally a single photo of you all together, with Aiko in the middle. You were all close friends. And when you connect the pictures together... Still don't know why the corners are ripped up. Everyone is there, smiling. So, why? Sorry for spoiling. No, no, it's okay. We're basically at the end. We've got work to do before you get all sappy. Let's go. One more push and we'll be done with this labyrinth. Can we not kill three high school girls, please? Can I do anything in my ability to stop that? What would a hero do? A real defender of justice would defeat evil here and now and be done with it. But I'm no hero. All I want is the truth. And the truth is right here. So why go any further? Will solving this mystery really make anyone happy? Master, do you sympathize with them? That's not something a detective should do. Your job is to solve mysteries, isn't it? If so, you have to expose the truth. You have to prove it in a way anyone can understand and anyone can see. Detectives aren't defenders of justice. They're defenders of truth. Defenders of truth. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Over a person's life? A, her a hero would commit murder. Corners of chumps. <laughs> a hero would commit murder. I mean, it depends on the, on the person. Uh, emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. It's easier said than done. Yuma, if you can't do it, I can take your place. No, I'll do it. I'll take responsibility. I'll see this through. This is still really fucked. Can we express this in any other way that we're literally going to murder three high school girls? Do we have to do this? Solution blade activate. Deduction denim. It's for the greater good. They're high school girls. They're not some sort of psychotic murder. I'm sure there's eight in the background there. So we're just supposed to be pages or something. It is pages, okay. Flower Parami, see the muddy boot, and then her death. What are the two pictures? Glasses are swapped, okay. Glasses are swapped and the light. Not yet. Probably surprised. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
What did Yoshiko apply to the glass? Oh, these are glasses are swapped. Okay. So this is what I was disguised as. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. This one. Um. This one. So this was the poison. So this was going to the chemistry lab. Can we have an exception that they like killed for the sake of their friend, which can spare their life? Posture check. I'm trying to posture check myself as much as possible. Hi, Alpha. How's it going? But people die when they are killed. Greater good! Step right up! I just... Step right up. They're school kids! They did it because they're the sad! Academy stage. Like, I hate it! I, I, like, I don't think any... I don't think any high, like, high school girl should be thinking about committing murder, but... Obviously they regret it! <laughs> They're not some sort of psychotic murderer. This case begins with Aiko's death six months ago. How did they know about it though? How did they know about how Aiko died? That's the real question. Aiko was thought to have committed suicide by jumping off the roof. In truth, Cotton murdered her. The shoes left on the roof had dirt on them from the flower bed at the crime scene. The stains on the bricks were also unnatural, and it was obvious that an amateur had faked it. If it wasn't a suicide, it would contradict Cotton's testimony. However, she didn't originally intend to kill Aiko. It was a crime of passion. You guys are idiots. So they got into an argument. Only idiots kill. Red, then boom! Women are so scary. I agree. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane probably realized the truth behind what happened. How? The three teamed up to avenge Aiko. They used the dress rehearsal to commit this crime. Regardless of the reason, getting together to plan a murder is pretty crazy. I agree. Yoshiko and the audience was to bring the poisoned glass into the theater hall. Once unsealed, the poison is harmless after 30 minutes. So, she went to the lab 15 minutes after the play began. The poison container is too big to transport unnoticed. So she applied it to the glass in her bag with a paintbrush. Right. Thus, the poison glass was created. She brought it back to the theater hall, then went on standby at the right end of the front row. Warna, who was acting on stage, was to switch out the poison glass. I still don't agree with this. During the five second blackout, 30 minutes into the play, Yoshiko placed the poison glass. Five in the seconds ways. to walk across the stage, Warna pick up, switch stage, around the glasses. Retrieved it and hid it under her costume. And and hide it underneath yeah, your costume. No. She approaches the shelf. She exchanged the glass there with the poisoned one. Switching in the murder weapon on stage while everyone is watching. What a pervy exhibitionist! Um, what? What's perverted about that? And Kurene on the lights would guide Cotton to take the poisoned glass. 
Then came the duel of poison cups! The two glasses on the shelf had juice poured into them. Cotton and Warina shuffled them in a way the audience couldn't see. But Kurone, who was on the catwalk directly above the stage, saw exactly which glass held the poison. She confirmed the location of the poisoned glass and shone the spotlight on it first. Cotton drank from that glass 45 minutes after the start of the play. Winner, winner! Poisoning complete! That was so she was a part of it, knew it. Good job! I'm disappointed. Kurone told Cotton of a change in stage direction where the victim was to take the glass the spotlight hits first. Cotton followed this instruction to take the poisoned one. Yep. There we are. The whole sequence of events for this crime would have been impossible for a single person. Their cooperation was also a means to conceal their involvement. But I can't shake the feeling that there was some other reason behind it. The ruthless, disgusting criminals who conducted this murder are... Yoshiko! Waruna! Kurane! You are the killers! Wait, what? They may have pretended to always be at odds with one another. But deep down, they were bonded through their shared admiration for Aiko. Meta! Woo! Nar! Do we have to kill them? Please don't kill them. Surely there's another option for getting rid of the mystery at Labyrinth. Like, we solved the mystery. We don't have to kill them, right? 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 Danganronpa? I mean, Danganronpa is all about a bunch of 16, 15, 16 year olds killing each other, so I really shouldn't be surprised. Answer. I'm the mystery. You're the beauty. Beauty. What do you mean? This music's dramatic. Was there really no other way? Was there no way to prove Cotton did this without killing her? That's not possible. Not in Kanai Ward. The peacekeepers bend the truth whichever way they want to. The three girls couldn't get justice from them. They didn't need Much to get justice. This crime. They could have just been like, man, fuck that person. But that, it doesn't make it right. How long did you put on an act for this? Aiko was our sunlight. Wherever she went, we were meant to be there with her. She was everything to us. We were together, ever since we were young. Her dream was our dream. We were nothing special. But she called us her rivals. Those words encouraged us to carry on. And you could have kept carrying on. You could have said... Now she's gone. Everything's hopeless now. The three of us investigated Aiko's death. I used my parents' connections to view top secret case files. But I no sold the, did, the mystery. It's that you're too cute. Facts. To the case. Because Karen's father is a big shot at Amaterasu Corporation. That's why we had to do it ourselves. We wanted revenge. Uh, revenge became everything for us. And to get it, we pretended to fight amongst ourselves. We are actors, after all. But we don't have to anymore, right? We don't have to keep this up. Yep, you get to die now. We're killing a bunch we of people. put on quite a show. Didn't we, Aiko? Do we have to kill them? <laughs> uh, 
This leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Then again, most cases do. But that's the end. We can finally return to the real Solving world. Solving mysteries by committing murder? What are you, the police? I hope the girls open up like that in the real world, too. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. I didn't understand you were saying that oh. for a second, and I'm like, what? Why is that? Oh, well. Oh, also, <laughs> where's Shinigami? Right here. Well, what do you think? Shut up, Dessa. Here you go. Did you fall in love with me? I know you did. You must have, yeah? No, you're the most despicable human I being I've ever heard you. in a video game. I will never fall for you. You are seriously getting on my nerves. You're annoying and exhausting. Nice, Shinigami. Uh, Desuhiko? <laughs> You're deplorable. You I was serious? <laughs> How many more words do I can I use to describe I was him? Just testing Disgusting. The bond between you two. <laughs> deplorable. Irresponsible. It's amateur. Curse. At least to me. Immature. Uh, right. <laughs> I was just testing. I just want to say disgusting again. I wasn't serious. Disgusting. At all. I didn't get rejected, okay? I did it. I hate him so much. Uh, all right. Can we kill? Just calm down. Let's boom kill you. Let's do it. Do we have to? Exterminate the souls of the true culprits and destroy the mystery labyrinth. What if we just out of here? Wait, Shinigami, do we really have to do this? I mean, they... They're murderers. The reason why doesn't matter. I make my living reaping the souls of criminals. Because I'm Shinigami. God of Death. Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. The brilliant soul of Shinigami. Shall we sponge this cursed face? Damn it. Do you have to kill them? Can we kill him? I want to kill Desahiko. There's a difference. Music's always so rockin'. Kurumi is gonna hate us after all this. Con pinned meta, woo! Good thing. I, this is sad. This is really, really bad. Murdering kids is fun. No! Wait. No, Desuhiko is the embodiment of a Twitter blue subscriber. <laughs> No! No, Con! Con! When did you. Huh? What the. Wait, what just happened? Oh, hold on, let's all calm down. What? What's going on? I knew it. <laughs> the evil murderers have been expunged once again. Oh, I wanted to undo what I just typed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine when you have the when you have the nuance. When you don't have the nuance, it's really bad. Excuse 
Excuse me, everyone. The culprits behind this incident were Waruna, Karne, and myself. All three of us conspired to poison Cotton. Uh, the way we got her to ingest the poison was... Scratch from the records. <laughs> right. I don't know what you people have done. But next time, it won't go your way. Remember that. No, it's gone our way so far. Did you see that? <laughs> she was staring at me the whole time. She's got to be in love with me. <sighs> okay. Oh, fine. I guess she can keep the peace of my love as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I feel that way too, man. Hey, what's got you so down? All three of them just died out of nowhere. Nobody's to blame for that. There's no reason for either of us to feel guilty. Seems like all the memories from the Mystery Labyrinth are completely gone. Master, we're in the clear. All three of their deaths won't be your fault now. That's not what I'm worried about. Yuma! No. Kurumi? We got a hug. We touched a woman. I, knew you'd I despise him so much. Yes. Peacekeeper lady gives me the assistant lady vibes from Pokemon Sword and Shield. In other anyway, words, off their rockers. Right? The you might have missed that part, but yes, she is an assistant lady. She's assistant to the director of the Peacekeepers. And he and her are um, equally as crazy and equally as uh, pervertedly affectionate for one another. Okay. They didn't harm you, did they? No, I'm fine. Okay, good. Hey, Yuma? We got the girl. I don't want to get in the way of this tearful reunion. <laughs> but maybe we should get out of here? It'll be trouble if the peacekeepers come back. Oh, right. Let's leave then. Howdy. Hey, Techie. Oh my. Just like my Algebra 2 teacher and her husband teacher that worked next door. <laughs> Is that actually true? Is that a real thing? God. Um, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Um, yeah. No, if you saw- it's true? Okay. Was there always a picture there? Um, I wasn't paying attention. Um... Yeah, there was like a scene earlier where they were like weird towards one another. Let's just say. The husband would come in to flirt with his wife and it was uncomfortable. Put in a good word for you. That's hella cute, kind of. I don't really get how it all ended. Yasuhiko is the persona calm fighting who never gets visited. Yuma, <laughs> you did all the work, right? <laughs> huh? Huh, guess he's got good intuition. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like I won't be calling you rookie from here on out. Desuhiko, you didn't even prove yourself Let's as a good detective. Together, my man. Mind your manners as you walk your girl home. He literally did, ab like, he gave us the abilities and, like, the <sighs> he gave us the ability to investigate. He didn't actually do any <sighs> investigating of himself. Um, Yuma? Huh? What is it? This tension. Don't tell me. Is this where they make babies? <laughs> I... No. <laughs> not, not it. Okay, you make very different scenario, different, different place, different everything, different. Okay. Did something happen? You seem down. Oh, well. Oh my God. Let's just say they took the teacher's lounge to a whole new meaning. Oh no. I should tell you how they got fired. <gasps> no. 
Who caught them? Holy shit. Who? Imagine if a... What? Well, imagine if a kid came in. Can you imagine a kid coming in to be like, Hey, can I have some help with my homework? Uh, oh. <laughs> holy mother of pearl. That is... Holy shit. I can only think of... I think it was only two... I think I can only think of two teachers that ended up working together. And even then, they worked in like completely different parts of the schools. So I don't think they were around each other much while at school. I can't remember who it was. Someone was married. Someone married another teacher. I can't remember. Although the case was solved, three lives were lost. I would marry... I would marry... a, a school teacher. A, you know? Right. I didn't expect Yoshiko and the others to... Um, could it be that their deaths are related to your forte? What? Wow, we've got another sharp one. Master, I hope you know this, but if you say anything about our contract... Oh, sorry for saying something so strange. I know I'm off, right? Even if that were the case, you'd never tell me. <sighs> Hey, Kurumi, there's somewhere I want to go. Will you come with me? Uh-huh. Sure. I guess. It's weird that I still don't trust her. Most workplaces that have couples have rules. Like, they can't be in the same department or be a supervisor of each other. Each other. Well, yeah, and that's also got to do with um, uh, having unbiased, unbiasedness. Like, conflict of interest. Oh no, the spicy drama. I mean, <laughs> that would be the hell of a drama, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, no, there are specific rules in relation to that. Okay. <sighs> wow, what a nice view. It's like a secret hideout. I didn't know that Kamasaki had a place like this. Please, help me save this city. Save this city, huh? I managed to save Kurumi by solving the case, but I killed those three girls. I'm responsible for their demise. If I had let the peacekeepers deal with it, at least their deaths could have been prevented. What exactly did I even solve? It's not a true solution if we can't save everyone. What I gained in exchange for my memories isn't some convenient mystery solving tool. I'm a death god too now. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. It's literally the power of a death god. Yetus Yutos. Save the city about? with rock and roll. You can't <laughs> any and you're not gonna get your memories back either. <laughs> In the end, you just have to accept it. Thanks, Shinigami. Accept it? Instead of believing in some vague thing like justice, just believe in the truth. They say there's only one truth, and there's only one type of person who can find their way to that truth. The dead. Detectives. I don't Even understand I how this is supposed to be comforting. to find it, I should let so many people die for the truth? Wow. Master, you keep going to extremes. It's part of why you're a greenhorn. Uh, seems like you still have much to learn under my guidance. Are you really guiding me at this point? What is the truth? I want the truth! Why did I but Snoo Snoo at work is not allowed most it. of the time. Snoo Snoo? Snoo Snoo? Snoo Snoo? Yes? Snoo. I know I already said this, okay. but. Okay. Thank you so much. You are exactly the kind of person I thought you were. Are you sure about that? What do you mean by that? You're my hero. Mm. I'm no hero. I was just trying to expose the truth. But thanks to you, I was saved. If you weren't around, I wouldn't be here today. That's why a detective who exposes the truth He's a hero in my book. If there were more detectives like you in this city, 
Maybe Aiko's death would have been solved earlier. I'm sure things would have been different. They're cool. <sighs> I mean, it's a nice way of putting it, rather than whatever the fuck Shinigami's Kamehameha saying. hasn't seen a hero like you in forever. That's why it's always been so dark here. So please, please continue to be our hero. Okie dokie. A hero. Bear Maybe hero. before I lost my memories, I was trying to become someone's hero. This time, there was a steep price to be paid for exposing the truth. Won't always happen. But Death by so, snoo snoo. <laughs> the truth must always be. No revealed. Futurama fans. No, sorry. I want to believe I can save someone. I want to continue being I was the more hero of the she says I am. Still, I don't want to use Shinigami's powers again. Wow. <laughs> don't act like you don't like it, Master. Well, I'm just glad you seem more motivated now. Oh, yeah. We made a promise, didn't we? Yeah. I said I'd tell you about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret after the case was solved. All right. Go on. Huh? Uh, oh, right. Hey, you seem like you weren't expecting much. But that's where you're wrong. Just between you and me, I am Kanai Ward's only informant. What? Informant? That's kind of sus, bro. Are you serious? A high school girl informant? This I'm still a beginner, though. I started three years ago after taking over from my grandfather. Okay. And now that the peacekeepers control the city, there isn't much of a demand for information anymore. What? No wonder you know so much about rumors. Besides, I haven't felt this nervous since I was chased by those peacekeepers. Sure, I guess. That also explains why the peacekeepers were after you. <laughs> if Kurumi is an informant, maybe she does have some crucial information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I don't think so, but okay. All right. <sighs> So, Kurumi, what do you know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Well, Lazy Friday. it's likely nice. connected to the top secret it's research good. that Amaterasu Corporation is conducting. I think it has something to do with why the unified government approved of Kanai Ward's isolation. Okay. Top secret research? Approved the isolation? Kanai Ward has always been a city centered around Hamaterasu. Right. But there was a lot more freedom in the past. People were allowed to come and go as they pleased. Right. It became an autonomous zone, free from the Yuji's influence only a few years ago. Right. Which they the approved. The reason behind it has to do with the top secret research that Amaterasu is conducting. Okay. But what is the research? I don't know all the details, but it's supposed to be able to change the entire structure of the world. What? All nations well, then... and enterprises worldwide want it. This research is what turned Amaterasu into a major global corporation. Surely it's something to do with Shinigami's power, right? And that research is being done in Kanai Ward? I think so. It would explain why Kanai Ward's been isolated. It's so their research doesn't leak out. Research My theory is the world. If that's true, it's some serious stuff. No wonder number one of the WDO would risk his neck here. Do you know any more details about that research? I do know a little bit. Grandpa risked his life to obtain one piece of one confidential piece. information they about the Tarasu Corp. Yeah, sorry, yeah. And I believe that somehow it has to be related. What do you mean? Research to create a homunculus, an immortal monster. Okay. Homunculus? Eh, it looks like I was right about the human experimenting! Woo! Now, wait just a minute. 
Are you serious? I was I right. But it's a fact that Amaterasu Corporation has previously researched homunculi. Okay. Homunculi being researched in this city. Is that Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Immortal monsters? Homunculi? It's turned into a fantasy story out of nowhere. Look at you. What a legend. What have I done? Look at you. You're the real legend. Oh, got him. I'm a Futurama fan. I know of the episode. It's the Amazon planet and the big woman sentenced people to death by Snoo Snoo. And that's how they survive. Most of it was left behind by my grandpa. Left behind? One day, my grandpa just vanished. He's been missing ever since. Okay, we're gonna find out that that's Mr. Number One. Maybe. Maybe? Possibly? Ooh, I've been got A! Okay, so placing my bets now. Um, what was I gonna say? Shit. Um, placing my bets now. Um, so my theory before was because they were talking about how they have a very specific line that they've repeated three times now, which is, um, the body rots really quickly in the rain, okay? Which means that they're possibly trying to get um, bodies um, to be used for research, which is what I said, which obviously ties into the whole thing about homunculi. If people don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but homunculi, hom homunculi are basically trying to recreate humans, I'm pretty sure, to, to some extent. Recreate, like, uh, humans to an extent, like, not like zombies, but... I think more like Frankenstein, it's something like that. But as I said, they're trying to make an immortal monster, which I think is two things. Another theory I've had is what they actually did to isolate Kanai Ward is that Kanai Ward, um, there is something uh, Shinigami said right at the start of the game where she said, when a mystery labyrinth becomes too big, it starts consuming everything around it and like becomes more one with the real world or something like that. It was a very quick one offline, but I think like it's it could be very easily assumed that obviously Kanai Ward is actually being submerged within the mystery labyrinth and that's why it was isolated. And that's the kind of ability that they're trying to work on about the whole immortal monster, but also the line that they just said there where it's like a power that can literally change the structure of the universe. Because it could also explain why, you know, outside of this world, it was like fairly normal. While obviously here it's always raining, which is odd. Um, but also even like the area and the aesthetic of like the town and stuff like that. It's very neon, it's very bright, it's very shiny. Um, and it's always raining. And it's very, it's not crazy to think that that's like how the mystery labyrinth has like grown out and expanding to like take over the land effectively. Um, so pretty good bets. By the way, I know you don't play COD, but a few older titles have been exploited by hackers and they can kick you from lobbies, brick your computer or dox you. Recently, Activision had a security update for one of the games, but I don't know if I trust it. It's really scary to me that hackers can do this. No, um, the same thing happened with Dark Souls though, if you remember too, like Dark Souls found out they had like a massive problem and they had to shut down all the servers for a bit and it was tragic. But yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that we might find out that that happens more and more with certain games, especially online games. A planet of all the women, they're big and tough and when people land there, they charge men with crimes for existing. Right, so Amazon, okay. Amazon Lily. I wonder how they can brick your computer though. I know a little bit about how you can get IP addresses, but didn't hear about the bricking. Also, I can't hear anything I have ads. Oh, um, Lily. Hey, Dom. Hey. I almost scared me. Um, oh, what, sh um, what I was just going to quickly say was that, so with the Dark Souls case, what ends up, sorry, with the Dark Souls thing, what happens is they're actually able to kind of use certain amount of like they're able to get into the back end of your computer which obviously they can like dig further in so to speak and then shut the computer down so hi hi how are you doing i fell asleep on the couch so it sounds lovely yeah, I'm to yes. we'll see you in the morning hopefully i'll wake up in time 
Yay! Obscure Dar is best Dar. <laughs> Love you, Dom. Sleep on. Oh. The same with Dark Souls. Other brick your computer though. It, it can happen. Um. Oh lol. Um. Yeah. So it's like. I guess my point is, is that you can get the IP, but it's also like, if you can, <sighs> I don't know if this is 100% correct, but if you can get into, um, <sighs> how's the best way to explain this? Um, if you can get into the computer's like IP, if you can get the IP, and then, like, I imagine it's one of those things where it's like, once you have one thing, you can just kind of loop it through, through to the end, right? Um, so the thing with Dark Souls was they found that people could kind of get in through the back end, through, like, the internet connection, encryption, I guess. And then they could get control of your computer. And then, um, you know, again, like, just brick it from there sort of thing, so. I don't know. Jaden would answer better, but... Something like that. What's this? In death reasoning match sequence increases Yuma's movement speed. Over where Grandpa That's left wild. Good thing I don't so play multiplayer games because of my anxiety. Yeah. Good job, Lil. Don't worry, it's a better way to spend your time. Don't this don't play games huge. with other people. Considering how I had nothing until now. I still don't know whether to trust her or not. That's great. I'm actually useful to a master detective. Mm. Oh, um, about that master detective thing. Sun and moon. <sighs> that takes me back. I wish I could see him again. <sighs> oh well. And that's how you'll keep taking advantage of a high school girl. Huh. Shut up. Didn't play games with you neither. Dun dun dun. Erin Leaf, it's terrarium. Father disappeared. Right. Could it be the peacekeepers? Peacekeepers have anything to do with it. Grandpa vanished before Khan I Ward became isolated. Right. Yeah. He was just suddenly gone. Definitely number one. But I do believe I'll see him again someday. Mm-hmm. Master, forget about some geezer you don't even know. Yeah, what you do. this homunculus stuff? I might just the quickly Google the word homunculus. Research. Just to make sure I have my interpretations the correct. The Corporation is still researching some immortal monster in Khan I Ward. Makes sense why there'd be such tight security. They fear the secret leaking to the outside world. Hackers just want your info, like maybe passwords to get credit card. Then they the dump your info in a deep web dive to another person who can use credit numbers and buy gift cards to resell. Of which, I mean, yeah, I guess. So. The great global mystery. Uh, anyway? yeah. There's too much stuff we don't know. A very small human or humanoid creature. Yes, yeah, so they're making a humanoid. Now, yeah? I was wrong. Guess that flat-chested uggo is kind of useful. Maybe I should stop calling her uggo now. I'll just call her flat. Still gonna hold on to that, huh? I guess this is technically an improvement. You're gonna keep this info to yourself, right? It'll help you get ahead of the other master detectives. No. No, I'll report this to everyone. This isn't something I can deal with alone. You're right. Ugh, how lame. Couldn't you strike a pose and shout something like, I'm coming for you, Amaterasu? I feel like this is another reference that I can't figure That's out. That's not my role. 
it's not my role. <laughs> All I can do is investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret just a little bit further. I'm gonna explode it twice online, one where they stole $200 worth of Counter-Strike skins and even a knife an old friend gave me for my birthday. Fuck, oh, man. <laughs> Not always they can blackmail you, for example, or steal your account to sell it. Right. Lily, facts depend, but depends, but gift cards and credit cards, and credit num credit number draining is the most common method. What's wrong with relying on others? Nothing wrong with. for today the pleasure is all mine <sighs> i'm kind of hungry maybe i should go buy a meat bun on the way home you like those meat buns too huh <laughs> yes i love them i eat at least one every two days they're kind of the comfort food of kanai ward it's like i'm instinctively drawn to them oh would you like to join me, Yuma? No, thanks. I'll pass. I see. Um... Will we meet again? Yeah, we will. Whether you become my enemy or not, we'll meet again. Yeah, of course. That's great. I have the same password on a lot of entertainment things. Thankfully, thankfully my email is a separate order. password so they couldn't get in. They didn't stop them on trying to seize multiple oh. applications they use as well as signing up for stuff okay like Etsy. Own. I managed to get everything secured I again, but it was a battle. Kept getting emails I'm about it for like a year. Home. That's fucked. I'd hate that. Just say it. What are you, 12? 15. Are you sure you don't want to go back to the agency? Weren't you running an errand a while ago? Oh, fuck. Oh, you're right. Food. You starved our oh, poor no. chief to I death. Hurry back. Hi. Homunculus research. I still can't believe it's true. Does it ring a bell, Chief? Unfortunately, I've never even heard of it. You sure it's not just some rumor? The way Kurumi explains it leads me to think it's true. Regardless, there's too little information. We lack anything definite at the moment. Still, it's better than having nothing at all. Well done, Yuma. Thank you. You're like a dog wagging its tail whenever you get complimented. You were late getting back, but I never imagined you'd get yourself into another mess. Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, I'm so angry, I'm talking with the left! I'm really sorry. So angry, I'm talking with the left. Okay. Your tail gets tucked between your legs whenever you get yelled at. I am Dogger. Setting aside how I nearly died of hunger and that Yuma needs to be put on a leash. It's louder than usual. You picked another fight with the Beastkeepers! That's the biggest problem here! We weren't picking a fight. Besides, we got to expose the truth in the end. That look on Martina's face was awesome. Right, you up? That's not what I'm talking about. How can you be so relaxed? I love him. There, there, Lisp Man. Please remain calm. So this is the end of the game, or the end of the chapter, so, and there's more chapters. This is the, the end of the chapter. There's still more. Suddenly died. They get that a password user combo from a throwaway nice. site, then try and use the goo password Moreover, and user name on every website and find which accounts you have them 
like Desu using e my email can navigate to the sites with wide. card access and what password reset there I'd rather not think about common it. traits to call it a coincidence uh, um, mm. <sighs> the memories related to the case disappear what <laughs> Perhaps it is due to someone's forte. Wait, what? Uh, uh. Oh, shit. No way. What kind of useless forte would that be? Besides, no one here has an ability like that. Could another master detective have found their way here? Shut up, It'd be Bukki. one thing if we were anywhere else in the world, but we're in Kanai Ward. This isn't the kind of place some ambitious master detective could barge into by himself. Yeah. If someone got officially dispatched here, I would know. Anyway, why are you all looking so good? I don't know. I still get the feeling there could be other master detectives. The case is closed and we got new like information. Ex detectives. It's a fantastic step forward. So many video games. It's springtime and all is right in the world. Spring? It rains all year long here, and we've had nothing but trouble. <laughs> Just what the hell is going on here? It's like the hand of death itself. <gasps> Uh-oh. What's wrong, Vivia? You know what they say. The greater the detective, the more often they encounter death. Isn't that right? Yuma. Uh. That does kind of apply to you, Yuma. In a way, you're like a death detective. Fuck, they're onto me. Uh, don't take it the wrong way. I mean that as a compliment. Okay. But even if it offends you, I refuse to apologize. Apologizing is too much of a hassle. Alara Kukobu. What? No way! I don't want a nickname like that. Death Detective. Really? But it sounds so awesome! It seems death has taken a liking to you, Yuma. That's one of your talents, in a way. <laughs> Sheesh. I'll never understand this guy. It's amazing how close to the truth he is. I'll figure out how to discipline Yuma later. Damn. For now, we need to come up with a plan to I handle mean, as long the as it's peacekeepers. You said this case involved Vice Director Martina, right? Shit. She's Director Yomi's right-hand woman. Wink wonk. I heard she's both his close advisor and his mistress. Yeah, that's obvious. I'm sure they're gonna make a move somehow. Edge again. <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. What'll they do? Oh shit. See, this is what I'm talking about. Well, everyone, brace yourselves. We're fucked. Uh, are you serious? Yes, we're dying. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, Fabuki. Ah! Guys, get out of the fucking sub. Why are you just standing there? Run to the surface. The agency. Is sinking. I knew this was gonna happen eventually. Where is everyone? Somebody help. Your goddess. Hey, master, snap out of it. Your goddess of death, Come could on. you hook me up with some life? That'd be great. Cheat me from death, you know? Just a little tad. Why are you putting coat in the middle of the names? I like Pabuki. Kaboom! Oh, it sank, all right. Well, shit. <laughs> I didn't think that would go straight to this judgment, so quickly. The fire of purification, a supernova explosion! Ah, bloody hell! Hey, who prepared that torpedo? Unfortunately. It was I, Martina Electro. Ah, uh, I figured it was you. That
That wasn't enough firepower! I told you to blow up the whole river and vaporize them, didn't I? Now it just looks like I'm causing chaos! Half-assed executions of the law are nothing but senseless violence! Um... I told you to demonstrate perfect order! Listen to me. A clean and pure execution of the law is... Overwhelming, absolute, and completely blows everything away without a trace! Sheen, I'm terribly sorry, Director Yomi. No matter. You are my beloved right hand. You only need to remain by my side. Yes, thank you. I will forever be by your side to serve you. Thing is, even though you're my beloved right hand, you still need to be punished. Huh? You couldn't even solve a case caused by a couple of brats. Not to mention the detectives escaped under your watch. Ah, shit. But it's all right. Don't worry. You are my beloved right hand. This is bad. I won't hurt you. I need you to stay pretty for me forever. I... I understand. So, what is my punishment? Are all these guys just super kinky? See this? It's a recent invention by Amaterasu Corporation called a High Performance Presser. Oh no. It can compress up to 50 kilograms of material and instantly turn it into a cube. Excuse me, what? Even humans can be turned into pretty little cubes. Huh? I'll keep you on my person at all times, so you'll always be by my side. You Santi is not here, right? right okay, hand. we're good. Please wait! What? You, you must be joking! Hey, you! Take my beloved right hand over there. Director Yomi, please wait! Please! Have mercy! I mean, you were just as crazy oh, kinky Martina, as he was a second ago. There's something I wanted to ask you before you go. What's love? Oh, his <laughs> eyes went black there. What the fuck? Take her away. Are we going to find out he's one of the homunculi? Homunculus? Let's just move then. All right. Now, let's go find the corpses of those detectives that got blown up. Okay. I want you to stay beautiful for me forever. What the Good fuck? Day, what sir. the fuck? Oh no, she's gonna turn into Nintendo GameCube. What's that? Apparently. You don't know? I guess not. Since Memories? Still new. That's number one, the leader of the World Detective Organization. That's him? I have no idea. Oh, but Why would someone that high up be here underground? There's a book vault here. It's a secret book vault that only number one can enter with his biometrics. Am I number one? It supposedly contains data from generations of great detectives, sealed books, and so on. Oh, we snuck in there? <laughs> Didn't know that. Don't even think about going in there, newbie. Or that's me. I, I know what. Was it number one carrying in a whole book just now? I wonder what that book was. You're curious? Well, how about you go investigate? You may be a trainee, but you're still a detective. Investigate? Me? And that's how we got onto the investigation. <laughs> Kidding. Don't take it so seriously, Yuma. That voice. That sounds like a cow. 
or maybe something else. Lily is number one. Lily is our number one. Also, hello, Dilly. How have you been? Hope you go well. <gasps> oh. Uh -huh. Where are we? Yara, this is a nice room. Wait, where am I? It's a good question. Beats the hell out of me. But weren't you by my side the whole time? Don't you know what happened to us? Like that time back at the Amaterasu Express. I was only able to stay awake back then because we just made the pact and we weren't fully synchronized yet. But that didn't work this time. When you lose consciousness, my vision also goes dark. I'm sorry, Actually, I keep looking down at my phone. <laughs> drifting in the river after the explosion? I always feel like I need to do something died. while I'm watching something. Okay, okay, okay. Well, even as a death god, I it's 5 30 in the morning in Oregon, <laughs> Burgertown, US. Nice. This is no laughing matter. Anyway, because your biological activity stabilized, I was also able to wake up. Everything's a okay so far. Is that when you shared my memories or not? Now, let's go find out where we are. I want to go exploring so bad, my eyes are watering. Okay. That's a bit dramatic. <gasps> <laughs> Like Thunderbolt is creeper, Where but mainly just we? annoying. But Yomi, he's a real sick, sick Let's one. He's smart enough to get people into his creeper life. Well, you gotta remember though, like, um, this is Dangan Rumpa, and this is how Dangan Rumpa op operates, just in general. This is. Sorry. Mm. Abstract. Hey! What'd you type of it? Cold de sac? Trash. That's uncalled for. Nice. Um Yeah, no, this is Dagon Rumpa. So you can kind of assume that there's going to be like some fucked up shit. Like anyone who's in the upper echelons of um of like power in this video game will be absolutely and totally fucked. The thing I underestimated was I thought Matina was already kind of at that level of fucked where, you know, she wouldn't be punished, but I guess not. This is a painting? Hmm? Toilet? Oh! Say! Aw, come on. I want to go to the toilet. All right, fine. Where are we? I thought it was the hotel. Oh, I thought it was wow. the Sun and Moon Hotel. I did think there was a secret layer to the Sun and Moon Hotel, but maybe not. Where the fuck are we? Who, who's there? Number one. Oh, it's this guy. Is it the ultimate bad nice guy? Nice to meet you. You're the bad guy. I sure look suspicious, huh? I mean, yeah! You're like the ultimate bad guy! Are you? What's going on? Okay, game. Definitely escalating some stuff here. I thought we'd do a few more murders. Perfect. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Okay, yeah. Mmm. Fuck yeah. Froth. Damn. Almost got perfect across the board. That's pretty good though. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess we're gonna keep on going. What's the next chapter called then? I'm really hoping there's not only five chapters. I really wanted to do more murders and stuff like that. I think it's better off to do like eight murders you know like again like persona where it's like persona's like persona does a really good job of pacing the game so you actually go through kind of a lot before you get to the end someone's dream on the street corner right an unrealized ideal is shattered like tears flooding the city Be saved this way. 
Someone whispers. As they drown in a melted dream. What is happening? Okay. There are eight chapters. Oh, good. That's better than the five I heard. Okay. Fantastic. Happy. That makes me a lot more happy. Eight feels a little bit more cohesive. That was quite Did refreshing. You Okay. A bath is like a fleeting dream. Did you just like casually get dressed in front of me? What happens? You were in a shower before? Okay. Yeah. Because I heard there had been like five chapters and I'm like, but we're already at three. We can't be like halfway through the game. That's ridiculous, you know? And I definitely like, you know, like I would anticipate you do the first five murders or like, you know, cases. And then like the final three are the stuff that really starts like revving up in relation to like doing a more investigative. Um, finding out who's the bad guy kind of idea. <gasps> Hi, Philip. How's it going? Hi, Estania. Estania, thank God you weren't here. You were... Missed this creepy stuff, as far as I know. Um, we might see more creepy stuff in a second, but you missed some... Messed shit, so... You're, you're good. Hopefully you'll be good from this point onwards. S tier, Hannah's the best. What? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. In what context is that phase fra phase framed? It's a first time chatter. First time chats uh, chatters get a little get a little frame. They're like doop doop. And went you know yeah. So I unintentionally spoiled myself yesterday and went you know I don't think I want to see that play out. Oh, like in a different stream entirely, or you like accidentally saw a spoiler somewhere. Is that what you mean? Or did you see something in this stream and you're like, I don't want to see the rest of this? Hi, Philip. I love you, Philip. You're doing a great job today. God bless. Yeah. Your sweat and past are washed away. You're born anew. Would you like to join me next time? I wanted to look up where the fuck you were meant to click for the bullshit spotlight thing, so I looked up a walkthrough. Oh, no. No. Oh, if you're embarrassed about taking off your clothes, you can hop in with them on. Thank you for the suggestion. I do that once every three times anyway. Um, what? Who are you? Oh? If you want to know who I am, does that mean you wish to be friends with me? Are you a good guy or a bad guy? F friends Yes, I want to be your friend. How about you? Huh? I... I... Okay, so you were meant to look that up and instead you saw something else entirely. Okay, I got rated to someone playing but don't want to know spoilers so I switched. That's fair. So what happened once the labyrinth was solved? Oh, oh, um, I don't know if you saw the end of the murder. The end of the murder, though, we found out all three girls had collab. Wait, is that right? Back in real world. Okay, all right. Um, unless you don't want to know who did the murder. Um, so, <coughs> um, shit. What was I just saying? Um. We found out the girl that we were helping in the last thing, Kurumi, she was actually an informant. And her grandfather, who was also an informant, who I'm reckoning is number one, um, with the old guy, number one, who's supposed to be in charge of the WDO. Um, that's just my bet though. Tells us that the Amaterasu Corporation are creating homunculi, hum, trying to, like, one of, they're at least trying, I don't know if this is the ultimate secret, but they're at least trying to make homunculus. I ended up reading through the case and was like, no, those girls did not deserve dying to the labyrinth. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah, no, I 100% agree. It, I mean, I would like to say that, like, I think the game at least did an okay job of accentuating, obviously, humor. Like, as long as me playing it and Yuma, like, again, Shinigami's still an asshole, like a death god, crazy, eccentric asshole, but at least Yuma obviously showed some amount of, like, regret, and Kurumi did a good job of kind of lightening the blow of that a little bit, but I really don't like killing them either. Ow, my neck. Anyway. Um. Pway's Orb. Hmm. 
precious ore. Hey. Hannah, the name of this case is no longer a detective. I'm interested whether it's some different type of case or this guy was a de former detective and you're going to get an agency store backstory. Or he talks me into joining their side and that I have an Amaterasu Corporation investigative kind of angle. Maybe. Um, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Hannah, focus. Okay, let's try and focus in the best way I possibly can. So after the murder, we went uh, with Karumi to find out the evidence that she had to help us out with trying to figure out Kane Ward's ultimate secret, which she revealed that Amaterasu Corporation has been working on trying to make homunculuses that contain an immortal power that has the ability to change the structure of the entire environment. Which, on my part, sorry I'm closing my eyes so I focus on what I'm saying. <laughs> Which, I reckon, is, uh, see I open my eyes and I lose my train of thought. Um, which I reckon is the fact that that's kind of similar to what Shinigami is to a certain degree. Um, but also, I, because Shinigami also, but Shinigami also mentions that mystery of labyrinths are created. Um, and if they get big enough, um, they change, they literally become one with the environment. And I think that's why Kanai Ward is isolated. Especially considering they also say something to the effect of the UG, which is the United Governments, approved of the um, isolation of Kanai Ward, which makes me think that they very specifically... Um... They very specifically um, chose to shut down the entirety of Kanai Ward and what's the best way to justify something like that? That a mystery labyrinth had become so big that it encompassed an entire ward, an entire area um, because of the holy crap sketchy shit that's happening. I was wrong, there's five chapters, damn it. <laughs> no, not five chapters. They better be fucking good. Um. So yeah, how did we get out of literally just being caught by the vice director? How did we get out of literally being caught by the vice? Okay, so sh all again, they did the whole scene where the girls fell down and broke their crowns and Jill came tumbling after. Um, and then Shinigami went into Yoshiko's body and was able to, um, you know, be like, we did it and, you know, provide an alibi before slumping over again, I guess whatever um anyway so Martina so we went back and in so the information I just told you about the homunculi and stuff we went back to the sub to inform that information but Martina went back and in solved that stuff about Yomi to the director Yomi Hellsmile and he was basically like let's kill all the detectives uh, and hit the place with the and hit the su submarine with a with um with a something with a torpedo or something but martina didn't do what they wanted um because he told martina apparently to completely destroy the sub and she didn't want to do that i'm not entirely sure why um but she didn't and then um some threats were thrown around threats you don't want to hear um and um sounds like she's going to die off screen didn't happen presumably she's died off screen um, which is fucked. Um, and now we've awoken, now we had a just, we just had this whole scene where Yuma seemed to have met the number, a uh, number one of the WDO at some point, maybe? I don't know if they met him or not, or if it's implying that he is him, one of the two, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Makes sense, one with each of the other detectives. We did Halara and Thunderbolt. Yeah. And then the final one we'll do with Yakao or something. So there's Vivia, Yakao, and Fubuki. Yeah? Something. Okay. I think that's everything. I think you should avoid sketchy guys like that. You're just gonna end up joining the pyramid scheme or something. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I've built personal relationships that I don't remember the procedure. My name is Makoto Kagutsuchi. Nice to meet you. Makoto. This guy scares me. Pretty sure he's the ultimate bad guy though. I could be bad, wrong, but I'm pretty sure he is. 
Just Hi. just to accentuate. I'm uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Just to explain on the front cover, if we go off our front cover shit. He there is that guy right down the bottom, okay? Which is literally beside Swank and Yomi her hell smile. So he's obviously part of the bad guys versus all of the different detectives in the game. And then Whoever had it is an evil red eye, and then Kurumi, which I'm still confused why they'd make Kurumi such a giant symbol within the cover, but this likely is more of than one Joker moment. Probably. Hmm. Yuma. Right. Master, maybe you should comment on his mask. He's probably waiting for you to do that. Um, about that mask. Oh, this? Interested? This is like a family heirloom to me. It has quite a history. Right. It is said my family has demonic blood flowing through us. Normal people who gaze upon my face lose their sanity. Right. That's why I must keep my face hidden, or I can't even hold a normal conversation. I mean, no guarantees. So what is this demonic blood, you might ask? I did my own research on the matter. It goes back 500 years. Back then, this land was comprised of over 200 kingdoms, great and small. Uh, um, I think I got it now, thanks. Oh, uh, are you sure? Okay, I was kind of looking forward to the whole history. Where are we anyway? Good question. Excuse me, where are we right now? Hmm? This is my home. It's the highest point in town. Yeah. The top floor of Kanai Tower. The top floor of that tower? Are you serious? He's like Stark Level's rich! Hey, <laughs> let's take a selfie while we're here! Yep, there we go. Now we have our Avengers reference. Why am I here? I assumed you were playing in the river. However, it's not good to get carried away. Oh, uh, I don't know about them. You were lying by the riverbank in town. Yeah, I wanted to get that too. One Is that a Marvel reference? I think so. You. So I had you brought here. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if we just let you die. Why? What about the others? You're here from the lowest part of town to the highest. How does it feel to have traveled between heaven and hell? Um, where are the others? Was anyone else there besides me? There was no one else. Well, I guess they're dead. I see. Moving on. Chief Yako. Halara. No, they're Tetsuhiko. not dead. Come on, man. Fubuki. That's not how you do death in Fufia. this game. I hope they're all okay. They're fine. It's all my fault. Maybe one might be dead. Hopefully the Tetsuhiko. have it out for us because I've been butting into cases pretending to be a detective come the fuck down man you're a detective in if training I followed the chief's advice and stayed put at the agency none of this would have ever happened there you go acting like some tragic heroine again the only people who'd give you any sympathy for that shtick are the possessive types drawn to the naive just forget about it all and be positive say you have amnesia and reset your past after me. losing my memories, the Nocturnal Detective Agency was the one place where I felt like I oh belonged. Oh my god, can you stop being so savvy? that's gone... Hey, you're lucky to be alive. Compared to the other dead detectives, that is. You don't know if they're dead. They're not dead. They have to be alive somewhere. Oh, we have lots of visitors today. What? You might want to hide for now, Yuma. Hide? Why? You don't want to go play in the river again, do you? What do you mean by that? Master, I've got a bad feeling about this. Do as you're told and hide. But where am I supposed to hide? Where should I hide? Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, where the fuck? Back in the room? I need to hide. Shit. The director of the peacekeepers, Yumi. Hell smile. It's rare Sorry. to see you all the way up here. Maybe this means we'll get a bright and sunny day tomorrow. Well, a damn good day to you as well, masked man. Or is trick or treat the proper way to greet a mask lover like you? 
So what brings you here? If it's a treat you're looking for, I have some homemade cookies. Cookies? I'm down. Unfortunately, I only accept tricks. I heard a rumor that you're hiding a detective. That couldn't be true, could it? Detective? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> you think you can hide your expression behind a mask? You're as creepy as ever. If you weren't in this city, by now I'd be... This kind of reminds me of someone. <laughs> I don't know who, I'll though. I'll be back. The peacekeepers are always watching you. Nah, I still don't trust them. Yuma, you can come out now. Why was I hiding in there? That was weird. Okay. That was the director of the Peacekeepers, wasn't it? You know him? Hmm. Our relationship isn't so shallow that he's a mere acquaintance, but I wouldn't call it a friendship either. If I must call it something, I'd say he's like a shadow. We all have our own inseparable shadows, right? Who are you? That's not a good sign. I'm just a man living at the highest point in town. Do you need to know more than that? Well, it means you're definitely the richest in town, which means he's probably the leader of the Amaterasu Corporation. That doesn't tell me anything. So why hide me from Yomi then? <laughs> For fun, I imagine. You sure are honest. I love this city more than anyone. And more than anyone, I worry for its future. <sighs> That's why I feel so gloomy about it all. Like the sky, a cold rain falls within my heart. By the way, I hear that you're a detective. I didn't know they still existed in this town. I'm a trainee. There are other detectives much better than me. Somewhere You know, the peacekeepers there. are trying to take over Amaterasu Corp. Right. Yeah, good pickup. Good pickup. Naturally, this means you have some knowledge about this place. I suppose so, yes. Even as we speak, a disaster strikes Kanai Ward. What? You could say Amaterasu Corporation is responsible. For years now, the tragedies occurring in this city are the result of an upset of the power balance within Amaterasu. Okay. The power balance? Sounds like he would only stand to benefit, though. The company has gotten too big. Right. Each segment has grown increasingly independent and now lacks overall cohesion. As right. a result, the power structure has been completely thrown off balance. Amidst it all, the peacekeepers took charge. Right. They've imposed strict rules within the company and eliminated anyone who refused to obey. If it weren't for you, I'd be in charge. Yeah. I like the must person. I think we should trust them 100%. Oh, Lily said that. Yeah, okay, that's sarcastic. I was like, why would a Santia say that? Again, your names are the same color on my <laughs> on my screen, so for a second my brain was like, why is a Stantia being sarcastic all of a sudden? No, it's Lily. It's Lily. <laughs> yes, absolutely. The corporation was on the brink of collapse, but the peacekeepers managed to regain order. Right. And I'm sure you can easily imagine what happened after that. R right. That order took hold over all of Kanai Ward. You're a sharp one, detective. They fly the banner of order and force laws only convenient to themselves on the people. If he is green for me and often, I or often am sarcastic. I know, but like immediately after the previous sentence, it wouldn't have been cohesive. Um, in terms of like the manner of which you were speaking, you know, if it'd been a while since you said something and then you wrote something and it would have made more sense because more had, had happened in between stuff and it would have made more sense compared to more of a one-off quip, which is obviously what that sentence was. Um, on phone, I'm always green, but on desktop, my name changes color all the time. So colorful. Both Amaterasu Corporation and Kanai Ward belong to them now. They do as they please. They can overturn laws on a whim, which permitted bribes to be exchanged at a rampant pace. Right. This is why the city continues to erode away. So much so that this gloomy rain cannot wash it clean. See, again, this definitely seems to accentuate the fact that he obviously doesn't like the peacekeepers, but again, if the peacekeepers are gone, he only stands to benefit. I thought the peacekeepers were like a police force, but they hold much more power than that. 
As their name suggests, in the beginning, the Peacekeepers were a single department that handled security. They changed and grew into the powerful organization they are today, because there was a need for it. After Kanai Ward's isolation, Amaterasu needed to become stronger and more ruthless to protect their secrets. Taking advantage of the corporation's supply routes, the Peacekeepers began trading with the military industry. And obviously, or the masked person is a he him. Um, let's put an asterisk in there. I'm. I probably assumed from the voice they might have said he him at some point. And Makoto is also a female name, but that also might just be a Japanese like non-binary name. I could be wrong. Wow, they sound like some dictatorship's army. Before anyone realized, they were the most powerful force around. I'm sure they saw everyone else as incompetent. From voice pitch, Yin, yeah, I think Makoto is both. It is. Which led them Definitely, to because there's a Makoto who's the female <laughs> in Persona 5. The shadow that hangs over the city is none other than the threat of the peacekeepers. See, again, he's obviously very trying to coerce Yuma's friendship here as well because he's like hey the peacekeepers just came in and caused up a fuss but I protected you and obviously I'm accentuating how much I hate the peacekeepers and just layering a ton of blame on them without you know, like the connecting to the Amaterasu corporation he's making them see like two separate things when obviously he just said that's my shadow which means they're reflecting one another, but also like there's still one entity, which means one is doing the bidding of the other, which is him. Their tyranny continues to this day. They will never stop, even after they've gained control over everything. So that's the situation the city is enduring. No. At this rate, Kanai Ward will continue to decay. More innocent civilians will fall victim to them. They're completely right. I think we should make a pact with them, binding our lives to them forever. No, no, no. My, the enemy of my enemy is no, not necessarily my friend. This message was sponsored by Makoto. That's why I want to stop the Five peacekeepers on this reckless path of theirs. I do so as a citizen who loves Kanai Ward. Shut the I fuck need up. the help of people like you. Like me? I mean detectives. He needs detectives? Something about this sounds fishy. Shockers. What do you mean by that? In Kanai Ward, the only ones that can stand up to the peacekeepers are outsiders like yourself. That's why, in order to save this city, I need your cooperation. Detectives are the only ones who can save this place. That is what I believe. But what about you? Save this city? Chief Yako also asked the same thing. If no, are the you same. fucking idiot, don't. Oh, hold it right there, master. You're gonna agree just like that. But he's asking for my help as a detective. No. I have to respond. No, you don't. Jeez, think about it for a sec. Thank you, Shinigami. The way he's talking, he probably works for Amaterasu. Yes. In other words, you're not sticking your neck out for an impossible crime here. It's just a spat between adults. What do you think you can do about it? But we should at least talk to him about it first. He's obviously taking advantage of you. Yes. Oh, you're so gullible. Oh my god, thank god Shinigami is here. Listen, detectives need to suspect others all the time. Besides, can you really trust anybody in a mask like that? Correct. He's not um, normal. Unless that was sexy. Everything feels so ominous about this. You're better off not associating with him. Trust me on this. It's rare for you to be so absolutely against something. I owe you a lot for saving my life, and it's true. I don't know him enough to be sure if he's tr- Oh! Huh? Sorry. I'm not number Sorry. One. Wait, 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 wait. This reminds me, speaking of detectives, is number one in town as well? No, don't fucking give him any information. What? Fuck. I mean the guy at the top of the world detective organization. Things would go much faster if he were here. Shit. Uh, don't say anything. Oh, you know about number one? Huh? Don't you? I've only heard of him recently. I don't know much about him. Okay, play dumb. This is good. I don't see. say anything else. Well, that's no surprise. He's a shut-in who rarely appears out in public. 
That's not a good sign. But if you get the chance to talk to him, please ask him to come visit soon. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, tell him his son is in trouble. Oh, God. Which is gonna be find out to be Yuma and not him. Son? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm gonna assume that's actually Yuma. Oh no, wait, no, we assumed it was the grandchild. You know what? We're not gonna let's not make any assumptions. Anyway, I've kept you here too long. I mean, wouldn't it be funny that he's trying to ins insinuate that it's him, but we actually find out it's Yuma. If you're looking for your missing friends, you better move fast. That's right. I have to go look for everyone. I need to get going. Thank you for saving me. Okay, no hell. problem. Don't worry about it. But Could please, be Fukao, that's number one. With me. Fukao? You mean Yakao? Yakao? Is that who you mean? Um. Yak out, yes. And it's, it would be, are you looking after yourself and have had enough sleep, water, or food? <laughs> because there are hints Yuma grew up there, here. And aren't their eyes shaped similar? <sighs> Hold the phone. Who are you referring to? Your cow? Can I, like, get a... Uh, what are you? Sorry, Yuma. I mean, it probably is a good point to pay attention to what sort of eyes they have. That could be an important clue. Oh, uh, these guys. I mean, he's literally right here beside the other enemies. I feel like that's a little sus. Yeah. Hi, Philip. Who looks after themselves in 2023? I tried my best. Oh, wait. We've seen number one. Yes. This guy. And he has white hair. But as I said, so Kurumi... Where the fuck is she? Kurumi. They said that she's apparently in a fornment. It doesn't have it here. Okay, well that's disappointing. She said something like her grandfather mysteriously disappeared three years ago, which was before Kanai Ward was shut down, which makes me think that it, he's number one. Meanwhile, in the cutscene we saw previous, I wonder if I can bring it up. Uh, glossary? Is it in a glossary? I don't know where it is. Monculus? Oh man. Uh what did I just say? Oh, these are tutorials. Fucking hell. Um, I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, we had a cutscene, and it almost seemed like it was Yuma's memories of seeing number one inside the agency, near a door that was near that was filled with a bunch of forbidden books and materials. And the, the book the dude had on hand was the one that apparently Shinigami was inside. Actually, no, it was actually a book. That's the deduct. That's used in the deduction. Did now Um. Actually, that might be relevant. Right. Oh, also, I should ask you this while I'm here. Do you have any idea what Kanai Ward's ultimate secret could be? No. Or does the word homunculus sound familiar? Oh God, to I'm you? gonna fucking kick this guy's ass. <laughs> No, I have no idea. Sorry, I couldn't be of help. Shit, fuck ass, shit, fuck ass, fuck, 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 you fuck, fuck, shit. You fucking idiot, Yuma. Good job. You've now obviously 
implied what your your key mission is. Good fucking job, you, Mark. I see. Okay. Now go on and look for your friends. Right. How much of a fucking idiot can you be? Oh my god, I'm gonna have an emotional. How? How fucking chaotic. Hmm. So that's my enemy. Hmm. Brother? Brother? Is that it? I thought there would be more emotion involved. Son? So I do want to also articulate something. There is a sentence that was also a throwaway sentence by... Who was it again? Um, there was also a throwaway sentence by Shinigami that said, Or you could be a 15 year old detective, like, uh, sorry, you could be an old... You could be like an adult trapped in a 15 year old body. It could have been a reference to Even something. Even how tall the building is? The elevator took forever to come down. But it could also Since he mean... lives on the top level of this tower, he can't be that an Yuma ordinary That Yuma could person. be older than he appears, is my point. Makoto Kagutsuchi. Who is he? How is he connected to Amaterasu Corporation? Uh, uh, he brushed on? it off, but he's affiliated with them. He Probably Yuma, that's his son then. Maybe. Not to Hi, Han. Hi, Phil. What did Dar and I have for dinner? We had some pizza. He talked about saving the city, but is he on our side? I don't know what happened. Sounds like or case closed. Be... Good anime. Case closed. Oh, is that an anime? Is it? Okay. Shit, I need to go to bed. Okay, let's get through this next scene. to say that? I need to stop. I need to pay attention. Anyway, I'm worried about Chief Yako. Let's go back to where the detective agency was at the riverbank. I wonder what happened to Fusshead and the others. I should probably stop. They must be. Let's see how far I'll let me walk. Working on weekends. Yee. Case closes is an anime where a 16 year old reverts into being a kid again and solves detective cases. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking. Should I be doing side quests? Ooh, I do have access to some side quests. Can I go do them now? Will it let me? I'll just grab it now. I'm sure it's fine. Um, I think Miraculous Ladybug sounds better. Yeah, I said it. I wonder if that's been dubbed more, actually. I should check that. It was really good. But it, there's only, like, three seasons of it dubbed. I don't think I even got to the third season, but just theoretically work with me here. And then take care. All good, Alda. Take care, ma'am. Oh. Normal person, thank god. Sorry for startling you. No. Don't worry about it. I feel like I've seen this person yeah, somewhere. That's right. Right. And what happened to the other me as well? What do you mean? I've heard recently another me has been seen at the academy. Since then a mysterious figure has been following me, not just around school, but outside it too. It's terrifying. Maybe. Do you know something, whoever it is? Please tell me. Uh... For now. What is this shadow? It's a doppelganger. It was your twin. It was your imagination. It was magic. I mean, maybe a doppelganger? I don't know. A doppelganger is just as ridiculous as magic or imagination. I think you'd know if you had a twin. Yeah. Doppelganger? And that's what happened. Tried right, the transporter to look just like their victim. The real person dies if the two ever meet. 
die. Well, that's how the urban legend goes, at least. I don't know how true it is, though. Please, I'm scared enough as it is. Sorry. You couldn't help but notice your outfit. Are you a detective? Well, yeah. Do you look into the shadow that's following me? Please, I need to understand what's happening. Okay, I don't mm. think she would have been happy. Either way. Then. I get it. Huh? But. But. Huh? For now. Oh god, that's just a whole extra quest here now. Fantastic. Um... You know... Told you so! I see. Um, okay. Not exactly what I thought was gonna happen here. I need to go to bed soon because I got work. Da -da 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 yeah. Friend of a friend saw someone leaving the teacher's office in a hurry one what? night. I see. Okay. <laughs> teacher's office. Where the hell is that? Oh. You know, for now. It's a tragic tale of revenge, Ranger. Uh, I see. Thank you. Am I talking to someone on the other side of the door? Oh yeah, okay, I was talking to them around the corner. Cool. And then upstairs. Spoopa spoopa. Gotta walk around the school, the doo 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 doo, walking around. I always like looking at this building and being like, wow, it's almost one to one with Persona. Not really, but like, it's similar at least in terms of a presentation. Um, I see. Someone has apparently been stealing the teacher's belongings. Huh? Small things like a handkerchief's pens are evidently going missing. Outsiders rarely ever come in onto school grounds. Thank you. In that case. What? Wait, wasn't the teacher outside the school, not in the entrance hall? You yeah, know? she like moved inside. Once it said I activated the thing. You know. Sumino teachers seemed to have out of it lately when I Call out to her. She doesn't respond. Maybe. Seems to be tailing another teacher. She was walking so sneakily. Thank you. Um. Yes. Yeah, so she was outside and then teleported. That be enough. Say. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It was mentioned in several of the student stories. She has to be a stalker. I get it. I don't know if that's right or not. That's <laughs> not completely crazy though. But yeah, they said the teachers, so. Yes. You're the culprit. You what are you doing here? What is this all about, detective? Culprit this person is... is the culprit or stalker. What do you mean it's my fault? said you liked me the other day. It was the first time someone has said that to me. I said that? No way. Oh no. Come on. This teacher has the shorty detective stink all over he causes probably even when he's not around. I don't recall ever saying that. Uh, uh, must have been a big uh, misunderstanding. Your platonic words must have been taken as a confession of love. So I just jumped to conclusions? No, I'm, I'm sure it was my fault for Blissy leading you. I'm so sorry. No, it's alright, really. <sighs> That is so the investigation's funny. going. But even if you get a love confession, doesn't no. mean you should. Oh, 
I'm gonna go throw up. Okay. I guess I was wrong. I'm gonna go be sick now. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was really scary. <laughs> so it is Desuhiko's fault. Okay. question. Hey, you there. Who, me? That's right. What do you think of Kano Ward as it is right now? Um, exactly my point. What? I haven't said anything yet. You were at loss for words just now, right? That says everything about the current state of the city. What do you mean? Ever since the isolation started three years ago, Kano Ward has become more and more insular. Things can't continue this way. Aha. <sighs> uh -huh. Cannot lock ourselves away. We must step into the outside world. If we don't, Kanai Ward has no future. No. Saying some pretty radical stuff. Our Tarasu Corporation is controlling Kanai Ward, oppressing us. It is only once we are free from the bondage nice, of isolation. Shut up, Han. Um, that Kanai Ward can truly flourish. Don't you agree, comrade? Huh? Comrade? Who, me? Russian? Of course. Come, we must reveal how thoroughly delusioned Kanai Ward's residents are with a survey. Huh? God, I hate surveys. Let's do it. <sighs> My favorite response will be sunshine, while a negative response will be rain. Uh... Okay. I mean sunshine. Can't go around calling it a server either. Let's change it to the weather in Kanai Ward tomorrow. <sighs> okay. Uh, sunshine. Excellent. I'm counting on you. Everyone's gonna say For no. Now. Then... Yeah. Okay. What did I miss? I was watching YouTube. Why are you uncomfortable? There was a fucking side quest. Um, there was a side quest where um the teacher that Desuhiko turned into was getting stalked by someone, and we thought it was the music teacher, and it was the music teacher, but then it was like it cut to like a different frame where there was like a guy like looking over the banister and down at us. It was really creepy. Okay, I really need to go to bed. I don't want to end the stream, but honestly, it's probably a good idea to stop it here because otherwise we would, um, it probably wouldn't go well. Oh my. It's really creepy. Um, but yeah, no, a lot has happened. I don't know. Actually, no, no, not that much happened. I don't think since you left, sorry. Um, this guy. Excuse me. Uh. So that being seeing, I'm not happy about it. it. Sucks to always have to worry about who might be watching you. I wish someone could do something about it. I'm going to keep it, at, keep at it with that survey. Watch your back out there, all right? Thank you very much. Oh, what a nice guy. Night wings, good stream. Thanks, house. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good weekend. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Who's this random person? We'll stop here because there's probably like a whole cutscene in the next area, so. Boop, 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 boop. Well, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Ah. Ah. Oh, my hips. Ugh. been sitting too much it's so weird how like technically technically like my job is really good for me in terms of like it gets me standing a lot more but it's bad for like my feet and my knees but like it's really good because that's it requires me to like stand up straight for long periods of time but then like that helps my posture and my back a bit more but and like but it also, like, eventually if I stand too much, it, like, you know, puts more pressure on my lower back. And it's just a whole process. 
the whole problem. Anyway. <gasps> Philip! How are you, Philip? I hope you're going all right, Philip. Working hard. Boop, boop, boop. Philip is best boy. I'm doing good. Good. It's good having you here. And we can watch more anime. Cat will be finished with his final exam, so we can we can watch tons of anime on Sunday. I'm excited. It's Friday, so actually I'm hardly working. Yeah, I guess that. <laughs> Thank you, the stream bits I was here for. Oh, goodness, Dandy. Um, I don't blame you. It's okay. It's one of those things where it's like, I really want to, like, I don't know, like, I'm sure I just as, like, you, like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a mystery. You want to figure out the mystery. But then it's like, as time goes on, it's going to get slowly more and more fucked. So it's going to be like, mm, you know, like you're going to have to like take your hands away from the wheel, so to speak. Um, so hopefully uh, it'll all work out. Um, or, or, well, when I say hopefully it'll work out, I'll hopefully remember everything succinct enough to describe it back to you. Minus all the creepy shit. Okay. <laughs> anyway um yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you'll have an excellent day today and tomorrow take care everyone <laughs> sleep well have a lovely weekend i'm looking forward to the weekend got work but after work i have diablo 4 with my friends hopefully as long as we're all around <laughs> And again, One Piece. Watching more One Piece Sunday night. You're amazing. You're amazing. I know it. Um, so yeah, it'll be it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's happening. Not really. I'm just prioritizing playing games. Obviously, games and anime. One priority. Um. Anyway. Have a good night's sleep, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye bye. And obviously, I need to get a good night's sleep tonight. You know how it is. Work hard, always, always working, sleeping. Yeah. Hannah's wonderful and amazing, and I hope she has a wonderful sleep. Thanks, Lily. I hope it too. I gotta, gotta go to bed real quickly. I love you, Lily. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you for one piece. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, no, no.